everybody? Have you heard about the Drunken Peasants Patreon? It helps support the show while getting you some cool perks. Check it out! For one dollar per month, you get to use our exclusive fan chat that appears at the bottom of the screen on every episode. For five dollars per month, you get two new private shows, including Actual Mania, as well as our back catalog of private shows, plus all lower tier perks. For ten dollars per month, you get all of our monthly video content. This includes multiple post shows, our monthly reviews, our back catalog of all that content, plus all lower tier perks. For fifteen dollars per month, your name will appear in the ending credits of each DP episode, plus all lower tier perks. For twenty-five dollars per month, you get to take part in our monthly booking committee hangout to help us book our Patreon content for that month, plus all lower tier perks. For thirty-three dollars per month, you get an exclusive piece of DP merch each month, plus all lower tier perks. For $50 per month, you appear in the opening credits for each DP episode, plus all lower tier perks. For $100 per month, you get to join us as a guest on an episode of the Drunken Peasants Podcast, plus, you guessed it, all lower tier perks. Visit patreon.com slash dp now to become a patron of the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Drunken Peasants Podcast. I gotta get away with this. No! Say, man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes I cry. Oh! Miss my butthole, he laughed. <laughs> From the strangest corners of the internet, here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective, here are your hosts, the Drunken Peasants. Hello everybody, welcome to the Drunken Peasants Podcast, episode 1328. We got Billy the Fridge back again. Welcome back, Billy. Ooh. How you doing, buddy? Did you say 1328? 1328, yeah. A thousand episodes ago was my first episode of Drunken Peasants. Really? It was 328? 328. 328. I had no idea. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Threw some, threw some pee-pee on that oh! episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. I didn't even think yeah. about that. It's really cool. Uh, yeah. we, we, we're we starting to get some cool messages. Who we're, told we you gotta... to go live, sweet boys? On a serious note, Billy looking like a stud as always. I'll be honest. We weren't going to go live. Ben and I were just going to watch WrestleMania. Yeah, we, were, we decided. <laughs> we were watching WrestleMania before this went live together. And we were like, fuck it. <laughs> fuck those people. We're like, we could just watch WrestleMania. And then we said, nah, people need us. We do. We're yeah. needed. The world needs us. So here we are. <laughs> Please like the stream. We're trying to reach our tip goal uh, tonight. It's pinned in the chat. If you want to send us messages throughout the stream, please do so. Amazing. Amazing. We are uh, at 60% of tonight's goal, so... It's not it's not unreasonable to think no. we might be two thousand percent at the end of tonight. I think so. I think you're right. I think you're right <laughs> on that. Um we need to get into the Cobra verse because big things have happened. In fact, we had Queen Cobra herself in our chat earlier. So Ooh. let's play the intro and let's talk about it. Hi, Jessica Messica. Nice to have you. Men have got to stand up strong. Face the truth about themselves. To understand what went wrong. I know we can find a way. I know we can find a way. I know we can find a way. Stand up. It's amazing. Stand up. Stand up. <laughs> oh, God damn it. 
So we have Jessica Messica in the chat now. Queen Cobra in the chat earlier. Really? Yes. Is there going to be a cat fight? There might be if Queen Cobra shows back up. I don't even know. Ooh. By the way, Ooh. this is proof that this is because people were like, "Ooh, is that the real Jessica?" Here it is. This is proof. This is our chat. I click on it, and then I click on go to channel. That is definitely Jessica right there. Yeah, the the Queen Cobra in our chat right now is definitely not the real Queen Cobra. Is she there? I see that K. I see oh, that that's Cobra not with a K. Yeah. I see that K. So here's here's what she said. Go ahead, Billy. I know you can read this better than I can. The whole thing is disgusting because Jessica Messica has been trying to panel with him for months now, and he knows I can't stand her. What, what you people try to do to get tea is gross. But yeah, I'm the bad guy. Total doo-doo emoji. But it's okay for her to lose custody of her two daughters. Whoa, whoa. Lie on baby daddy and troll the internet all day. Got it? I don't live for tea to use as content to make money off others. And then Joe H came in and said, Queen, instead of <laughs> I'm here. Why didn't he say I'm here? That's Joe H's catchphrase. I'm here. All right. We're going to check out the latest from Boglum Chronicles. Let's see. Please like the stream and please subscribe. Thank you. Jessica, the night shit eating fuckhead. Woo hoo hoo! Six 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 from Wicked Blaze. Tonight Josh appeared on Courtney's stream. I've seen Courtney before. What's up? <laughs> do you know what girl world is? Wait, hold on. What are you drinking? What is that? Moonshine or oh, smoky? Did you pick that out? Or did somebody send yeah, it? Sent it. What a girl world Jessica's mentioned them. <laughs> I bully Jessica all the time, and I'm fucking sick of it. Hey, Jessica Red Scares message. on his fourth doo doo of the day. Well, keep pooping and keep sending. I only do that $2. about. I only do that about once every other day. Because the worst. Really? Jessica Massacre is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> well, she is. Uh, she yeah, she's kind of girl worldy. I think she kind of like she covered um, Jessica na naked and laughing before even y'all hung out. <laughs> Like she's just, I don't know, a streamer or something like that. <laughs> Why don't you like Jessica Massica? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm not watching this. Hold on. Solo Leo. Boom. <laughs> oh, look at you. <laughs> I love. He, I mean, like, does he miss her? <laughs> I, I mean, think, uh... he seems to be doing quite all right. He, he's still got to move, right? Oh, it's already been locked in. You'll hear it during this. Okay. <laughs> That's a quality. What do you got board. there? A fucking sun kissed with the fucking old smoky. Uh huh. Oh yeah, dude. Where do you even That's find sun kissed sun mango? I never see that at the store, dude. It's delicious. It's not a girly martini, dude. Did you see that fucking pour, dude? That was a good fucking pour. It was no joke. All right, I'm gonna make a drink with you, Josh. I haven't talked to you in forever. She slit. She eating oysters. She's slurping shit off of another thing. She is like. Jessica was streaming at the same time. I got very jealous and angry. This is from Jessica's deleted stream. She she jumped into our chat to let us know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> So maybe I would like full attention sometimes. So oh if he's goodness. giving her full attention, why would I want to fucking watch that? <laughs> make that make sense. <laughs> I don't need this. Okay, good for him. I don't need to know the reason why he got two thousand fucking dollars. Well, fuck. I'm sorry that I'm struggling for money, and then everyone says, "Oh, I'm a gold digger. I'm this. I'm that." And then they want to say, "Oh, he got two thousand dollars because oh, he has his." Josh. Here's the issue with Josh. Um, he thinks this is all he can get. <laughs> well, for so long, he had nothing. It was. It was the old. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I'm no longer a not and, a fan. 
<laughs> were you a fan? I didn't know you were a fan. a fan. Of anal? I'm not judging you, but I didn't know you were a fan. I'm just saying, like, I think he. I, I, people were saying when she first came there, I think he can do better, but I didn't know anything about her. So I'm like, all yeah. right, well, let it play out. You know, like maybe they'll, maybe they're good. I, I know she's older. You know, she's like my age. Like, uh, you yeah. know, um, when but, she uh, when she showed up, I I think I had about the first day I was I was team uh, Josh and naked and laughing, and then by day two I was like I'm over it. <laughs> yep. Uh, Jessica Mezica says, "Why hasn't Josh ever resorted?" Uh, I don't well. I don't know Josh that well. I know a few people who actually do know him and have been to his place. Um, I think he actually just doesn't want. He wants someone who he can be in a relationship with, and that's why, like the first woman he's had sex with in years, no, he's like all in. Once. Well, <laughs> I, I, I like it's not just getting laid to him. Yeah, I think he might have a social awkwardness too that he. The transaction wouldn't be worth his anxiety and time to connect with that person. But yeah, a prostitute, like if you like people look at like a prostitute and it's like, oh, they're expensive. It's like, how much did he spend on her? Like how much in sushi, like on that sushi thing and like all the getting that security deposit. I, I, yeah, (laughs) I'm kind of like. He could have just gotten a hooker for like a couple days, and it probably would have been cheaper than what he ended up having to spend on Freedom her. Freedom back now for me. And she would have been hotter. And, oh, it's like so fucking hilarious. And fu- I know what I'm saying. Up, so stop talking about it then. This isn't the... Go talk about it over at her channel. Thank you. Go over there. I don't need... Why are people here anyways? You're looking at a blue wall. All right, can, can we please stop talking about this? I'm not going over there. I'm not watching it. So can we please stop? Okay, good. He's giving her full attention. Oh, good. That, that's fucking great. Good. Just Yeah, like who was the hot blonde he's jerking off to that she was all mad about? I think it was a chat. I, I feel like someone bought him like some chatterbait time or something. Yeah. And he was like having a wank. Which is dumb to have when a girl, like, I wouldn't do that, like, even if I was into that and I had, like, a girl. So she caught him wanking while she was there? That's that's the whole I guess. Story. I don't know. I don't even know what her whole, like, he cheated on me thing was. But I, I, I gather maybe that because he couldn't even if he wanted to. You know what I mean? Like, so I think maybe he was having a wank session. To some dumb shit. I don't know. Yeah. He probably had some coins left. Yeah. <laughs> he got some Chatterbait coins. That's what I need to read. Jessica Mesca says she hopes he was jerking it to Nanobot Andy. I don't know who that, that? is. I don't want to look Nan- it up either. <laughs> We've watched Nanobot. On, oh, uh, Nanobot. A couple yes. Times. Yes. Yeah. I know who she is. Actually, yeah. Yeah. She she would uh, do great Why to go did to you remind and hang me? out with King. Oh, God. That person exists. No. To go over there and watch the fucking shitty comments. No, I don't. I don't need to fucking read that about someone else. I don't. Actually, Nanobot is probably more endearing than Jessica easily. Oh yeah, yeah. Nanobot's uh, like, sweet, and a lot of times, a lot of times when Nanobot is in videos, the weird she's thing the about same Nanobot one. is that she looks like she's like twenty years older than she actually is. <laughs> she's it's those and, Nanobots, and I think Captain Content probably hit that shit a lot. <laughs> yeah, you look like you're like yeah that's captain that's captain contents rv everybody was banging uh, it was like a mobile a mobile uh gathering uh, of the juggalos i don't need to see shitty comments because someone's already fucking sent me a screenshot and i've already read the fucking shitty comments i don't need to fucking go over there no i'm going to bed i'm going to bed have a good night everyone nope after ending and deleting the stream, she turned the panel to the monitor and everything Josh was saying. She tuned into the panel to monitor everything Josh was saying. All right, so okay, let's get serious for one second. Are you happy? Are you? Dude, are you happy? this dude, this gets so deep here, and Josh, oh. Josh really can't lie. 
he has a like it's not really in his head to lie and when he does lie it eats at him and he has to like admit what really happened like with his phones and uh his phone signs felicia Yeah. yeah exactly yeah happy I'm content. I'm content. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. That's not the same as Cappy. Content is like I'm starving and someone gave me enough food to be content. Like, yeah, it's not the same thing. I want you to be fucking I'm content. Out of my apartment, but I've got a new place. I'm not going to say when I'm moving out. Of no, I know. <laughs> so what do you think it is? You think it's trolls? Yeah, the trolls that have been bullying the conquistadors. Not I, and I know this woman. I I don't know her, but she's about to dig. She's very tactful, which more yeah, she's tactful been a than cobe me. Talker for a long time. Yes, right? she's been a cobe whisperer. She's a cobe whisperer. I've stopped for like the last five fucking six years, and the new owners had enough of it. They just we got some new owners. Yeah. And the YouTube trolls are leaving a bunch of bullshit reviews on the Google reviews. Yeah. And the new owners were not aware of the whole situation. They were mortified. Okay. And I, by the way, I know Josh subscribes to our channel and he's a, a mod in the chat. Yeah. And every now and then he'll he'll show up and he might be watching right now. We're we're looking out for you, buddy. We have a fake King Cobra JFS in the chat right now. Yeah, well, it's not even the real King Cobra. He's not the real one. And they were doing like the <laughs> trolls were doing false neighbor complaints too. On top of it, by the way, please like and subscribe to okay. this channel. Well, so all right, maybe that's why what you just said there. Because remember the prior owners before. Guys were like sending a bunch of Google reviews and like, dude, they were way cool. They were just like, you know, that person doesn't live here, whatever you're saying. How long is it like, how long has it been since there's been a new owner? I'm not sure to be honest, but I don't have any problems with anyone up here. At the- so I asked King Cobra, when was Delta 8 legal in your area? And he was like, probably like anywhere from two weeks to two years <laughs> was he right though like, was he- I, I mean like that's a big yes yes within that within that gap yes he was right <laughs> there you go <laughs> he, um, I, I wonder if we should go leave uh yelp reviews on the conquistador saying bring back king cobra <laughs> we miss him Lovely we love apartment. him i want to go to the soda fountain i you know what Next year, we need to have like legit Cobra Con in in yeah. March in Casper. We need like it, it has to be like, well, it'll be a DP meetup, but it'll be like Cobra Con and we'll make T-shirts for like we'll have- if if you reach a certain level, like you'll get like a T like a Cobra Con T-shirt. We'll, we'll all meet it, up at the like, shop. We've been grifting off of the internet for so long. Why not off of this? Yeah, we should start grifting off the real world. Yeah, what? <laughs> like, why not? <laughs> complex. Oh. And I'm going to miss living up here. So, do you think because, like, recently, dude, that you've blown the fuck up on the internet that that's why, like, more people are calling and making reviews and shit? No idea, to be honest. Courtney Knight, um, ask him if he and Nal are engaged. We are not. We are not. He just bought her a fucking moon rock, which is a dank ass fucking ring, dude. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's fire opal, yes. Yeah, it's fucking Ooh, beautiful. Fire I love nice. rocket dogs, dogs, more money. Dude, he is like I I mean like we can laugh about like the gem he bought for her, but he's sending her like he'll send her like five or six different door dashes so she can make her own drink combos. Yeah, and he's that's not care cheap. Of his girl. Dude, I love Rocket Dog. Oh, no shit. When'd you get him? Yeah. She broke his glasses. Yeah. I said when, though. Like, recent? Just today, as a matter of fact. But I definitely got a place. I'm not saying how big it is or when I'm moving out. 
or where I'm moving to, but it will be here in town. That's all I'm saying. It'd is be it great if he moved into a warehouse. <laughs> he could just do all types of wizard shit in his warehouse. He should just move onto the green couch here in the DP studio. <laughs> I'll rent it to him. He would be a great roommate. Dude, I, I'll make the rent as low as 200 bucks a month. <laughs> And King there Cobra could sleep here on the couch of the DP studio. That leaves him tons of extra money for drink combos. I mean, like Dash. what? Cheaper than anywhere in Casper. He can sleep right here on the couch in the DP studio. There's a nice bathroom there. There is a bathroom that you have showered in multiple yeah, times. He, he could go in there and... Uh, Leave his trolls in the porcelain every day. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm puking up a, a whole batch for my trolls to eat. Uh. <laughs> downtown, dude. I want you to be closer to downtown again. Not really, no. I miss that, dude. I miss you going out in, like, the fucking wild and shit. So, all right, what's the date that you're going there? I don't have to discuss that. So. Yeah, don't. I know. Shut up, Courtney. You're the worst. Jeez, so, Courtney. Um, are you going? Did um, you're gonna, you're just going to go rent though, right? You're not buying anything. Tell me to well, shut I, up. I got something bought. Yeah, it's just waiting patiently. Oh, what if he's getting a mobile home? On that. This is so exciting. I will be able to smoke in my new place, but only in my YouTube room. Yeah, because yeah, it's your Chronicles place, dude. That's great edit. It's your place. I'm very interested in this. That's fucking awesome, dude. Every time they've gotten me kicked out of places, I've gotten into bigger and better spaces. Yeah. Yep. As much as I was bummed, like, dude, when you lost the last place, dude, you've upgraded to a good place, though. You know? They're about to get him yeah, kicked out of so many spaces. Oh, a God. clock tower dream house so is all that's left. Before I am. One. All right. You going to do a fucking drink combo? No, it's smoking Jingo. Old smoky white line then. Old smoky. The moonshine. Oh, sun kiss mango orange. Sun kiss. This is Pokemon it's Sun a and Moon. Ring, people, calm down. King Cobra. I really thought you were going to get married, dude. Jessica told me she's never had a man by her jewelry before. We got Boglum Chronicles and so Boglum Reacts in the chat. So you bought her a ring because of that? We got Jessica no, Mexican. It's a freaking party. I, I, it's some of my favorites. You know what I'm saying? Tubes. I can't yeah. even believe it. And by the I think way. Joe H said he's here too. Who? Joe H, he's the guy that Joe? posts I'm here on every video. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know who that guy is. But here's the thing King Cobra, we want to move you out here, my friend. You can sleep. There you go. You can sleep right here. Hold on. Let me, let me grab a pillow. All right. Ben, you're, ben, you're ben, sitting on the ben, internet ben, right ben, now, Ben. Your beautiful face, Billy the Fridge. Like, ben, this is. You took. You're just sitting on the internet. <laughs> this is this is a nice, comfortable spot. Cobra could just be chilling on drunken peasant screen Man, all day long. So many walls with this, right? Yeah, you're just sitting on top of the fan the chat. Shout I'm out to tonight. Shout out to everybody in uh, fan chat who gets a little peek, a little can give a little tweak to Ben's booty. Wait. <laughs> Wanker scabs tubes. That's a two hundred dollar apartment right there in Seattle. There we go. That's comfy. Like, I feel like this is the new chatterbait. This is <laughs> <laughs> How are people not just throwing coins at us right now? I don't even know. <laughs> I like how it, you got to get a, a green screen pillow, maybe too. I don't know. <laughs> I need all of it. Now it Pretty looks like uh, Josh is floating on the pillow. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I have to make that shit disappear. Like, what can we even do? They the mic was kind of low, but we got a little bit of you. Oh I don't know shit! If it's normally, if it's normally a louder than that. Fuck. Charles. You're a good boy. 
very sweet. Do you guys? So you guys get along good, dude? To you have yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now it's like Josh is using Jessica. your pillow as a wank blanket. <laughs> that <Yeah>. fucker. <laughs> Did you meet her because um, she's already getting comfortable? Like, though. Did somebody He's chilling underneath your pillow? He totally needs to move in. Oh, oh I wanna. I don't want to drink wine I, unless it's like pink champagne. Then I gotta. Would you? Would you set him up with a moonshine booth? Yes. So he could make his Tell you make his uh, shine all the way. <laughs> no, she reached out and texted me because uh, someone was fucking with my phone, and she helped me fix it. That's awesome. So how long, how long were you guys talking before you she uh, decided to go out there, and, like visit you? Known you in a month. <laughs> was it cool? Like uh, you guys were talking, like FaceTiming, engaging, and shit. Remember Gothy? Uh, I know, but that that went a little crazy, right? Gothy got a little nuts. I I like Gothy still. I, still I like, like Gothy. Gothy as I smoke. I got a little fucking nuts, dude. <laughs> Is she okay with you having female friends <laughs> like me? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she's fine with it as long as I'm nope. her. She's not. She lives close to me. She's spoiler uh, alert. She's not. She told us in her chat, in her deleted stream, in her chat, she was so, not yeah, happy. She's super close to me. What if me and Nal go and hang out? I need to highlight that one. Uh, no, she isn't, Josh. She's gonna be mad at you for this. No, she's fucking not. She got she's mad. She's super cool with uh, fangirl Kate and I are fucking peas and carrots, dude. She's good she with wasn't cool Kate. with her either. And she's a close friend of yours, dude, so she's good well, with that. I'm anything with you except doing a little live stream. Yeah. And I stream with her all the time, so it's not like that's on her channel to help her channel grow. Yep. <laughs> yeah. She, well, I know she's lost a couple channels recently, but... Hopefully she'll get. I'm not gonna be mad at me after she's got that fucking ring today, dude. Fuck off. Is she? <laughs> do you ever ever have intentions of her like living with you or moving with you? Not living with me at the moment, no. But she does want to move to Casper. Really? <laughs> she wants to get her own place and move to Casper. She's like she really. By the way, Cobra in the chat is not real Cobra. Real Cobra, not even the real King Cobra. Real Cobra has a wrench here. So if Real Cobra speaks, he has a wrench oh, here. Sure. Yeah, be careful. Adorable. He could ban fake King Cobra if you wanted to. He could. Forest Casper, Wyoming. She's she like, does good. She's like, it's a really pretty town. And I'm like, she sees what I see, you know. Yeah. She sees uh, what I see. Yeah. The I beauty feel of like, Casper. I feel like she knew how he was. I, I feel like. She has her own. Oh my God, this is so cute. Um, but uh, Cobra has her own, uh, has his own ideas, and she knew about that and exploited that, and then kind of ma manipulated him to be like, "Look, we're the same, dude. Look at my it's cute like socks." You're spread out. You're laying in King Cobra's lap, and I'm over there massaging your feet. Thank you. That's, a, your, that's a nice little setup. You know, are you sucking <laughs> on my toes, young Bill Fred? Just gave him a, gave what him a little is post this? Kiss. What is going on? It's just a post massage. Who is kiss? this woman in between? I, like, <laughs> I feel like my head, like King Cobra's, like cradling my head. He is. He's, he's taking care of you. It's like you're at our Airbnb. Our Full Airbnb. service. What were you planning, sir? Bed I don't like this. Work. Foot uh. massage. Did you guys go out places and shit? Neck massage. Oh fuck yeah, we did. Um, Josh. Do, all right. I'm not sure how she's gonna do that, but she's just gonna have to figure it out. Does yeah, she? Yeah, um, dude. What does she do? Does she like work or does she uh, have like hobbies or shit like that? She does no. reselling at the moment. She doesn't have a job. Her her hobby is streaming herself in the bathtub for nine <laughs> hours. Yeah, I yelling at her parents until they kick her out. What? Gives her enough what did I do? To... What did I fucking do? Reselling is an income, though, for sure. You guys are fucking crazy. So, Josh, like, all during this, like, shit with Jessica and shit, I've gotten so many people that, like, tag me or message me. 
and they just say fucked up shit. And I'm like, dude, I just want Josh to be happy. That's all. That's all I care about. And I'm not a fucking, you know, like, dude, you can make your own choices in life and shit like that. You fucking dig this girl. You love this girl. You bought her a ring. Y'all need to fucking chill out, dude. Just, it is what it is, man. Like, that's it. Like, and yeah, comments like you, Micah, Mayhem. Her trolls and my trolls. I love the comment with Cyrax as the fucking profile picture. <laughs> That's you definitely get, not the real on, Cyrus. On StreamYard, you get to highlight the the like if you're watching a stream and you see fucked up comments getting highlighted, though that was chosen by whoever's running the stream. Yeah. I remember I used to watch Alisa Jordana's stream and she yes. always pull up comments. And not say anything about them, but leave them up when they were really fucking hardcore. Dude, talking. I remember. <laughs> I remember there was the one that was like, I uh, when when Onision was there, I was like, Onision's <laughs> a pedophile, but I think he's a really great guy. And then they put that on there, and then like she put it up there, and then all of a sudden, like Onision was like, oh my god, drunken peasants, and then he started like laughing about it <laughs> after that. He is a really great guy. <laughs> and a no, he read that like I wrote it, and he was like, "Oh my god, drunken peasants." So, yeah. So I've been trying to break us apart. I think and so. All I can do is just keep trying. Yeah, I think so, dude. Whoop! I'm clicking on you. Would you end Ozzy to end sickos, dude? Oh, I would. And I love Ozzy Osbourne to death. I would take a bullet for that man. I'm going to tell you that. Only one? What if they were shooting multiple bullets, King Cobra? Would you be willing to take multiple bullets for that man? I think fucking Ozzy would probably... And I feel like Cobra would... If... I don't know. I, I don't even want to put it out there, but something makes me feel like Cobra would run if someone pointed a gun at Respect him. that, dude. Even if Ozzy <laughs> was behind him. For sure. I It'd be badass know. if he just it's took out his more... wand and like cast a spell ah! on him to stop. Expelliarmus. Try and jam the gun with his spell. Precious than rock and roll, to be honest. I've always said that it's the truth. Children no are more it. precious than rock and roll. But I would rather play rock and roll than play with children. Into Cobe's house. I'm sorry, guys. That, like, shot out of the fucking chat. I couldn't click on it. I thought she fucking said that. She literally said she wants to get her own place. Mm -mm. Jessica's that flipping out Super chat. It'll show up eventually. Uh, but... Fuck about this stream right now. No, she's not. You stop it right now. No, she's fucking not. Okay, good. He's giving her full attention. Oh, good. That, that's fucking great. Good. Just what I need to read. Has she ever come on a panel with some like with you? Dude, I will tell. She's I will say this much: having dated many, many, many internet celebrities like Naked and Laughing, full attention is basically cheating. You can't. You can't be giving somebody full attention when they're an internet celebrity. Well, she's welcome to come up here, Josh, if she wants to. Yeah, send her the link on the Facebook. Is she on the Facebook? Nope. Put she's it in not private chat, on. Josh. Can you put in private chat her link or something? Or just send her the link. Oh my god, I'm super scared. I don't want her to get mad at me. Oh my I'm, god. I'm super scared about her. She, it, it's weird because Cobra trusts women more than most people. So if he's like, it's a verified woman, he'll let her do this. Thank but you she's. YouTube algorithm. Just got thank you. For no I'll be right back and, and we'll talk more about this. I'm here for the yeah. drama. I'm here for the drama. Here for the drama. One in the chat if full attention is cheating. Two in the chat if full attention is just like going on chatterbait and jerking off. We need to know, is full attention cheating? <laughs> uh, I'm seeing a one. Ah, oh, Rocksterity's giving a two. I don't know. How you guys doing? Big face Billy moment. I'm giving you full attention. No WrestleMania spoilers. It's very important that when I wake up in the morning to watch WrestleMania, 
And I have no idea who won the fake fights. It's very important. Uh, I see a seven. I don't know what seven meant, but that's just serious shit. Whatever seven meant. Billy Holman makes friends with great guys. Look, would I befriend sickos to end sickos? Maybe that's what I'm doing. Alex in the chat with a big face, big face. Did Tyson, Did Mike Tyson win? Did him and Jake Paul fight tonight at WrestleMania? Colt Cringe I can't give you full attention. Everybody said, wait, no. I think we said more too. So full attention is not cheating. I can give you some full attention then. My OnlyFans, is, my, my, my $10 OnlyFans level is for full attention. You want full attention? Subscribe for $10 on my Only Patreons. You think SD Jones won? I actually have no plans to watch WrestleMania, but I do want to know what happens with the Rocks match tonight. My boy, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, he's got to do something big, right? Honk Hogan won? No way. I didn't know Honk Hogan was going for the chomp, the championship. Did they throw him off the hell in a cell? <laughs> She craves that full attention. Pick Just up the phone. What I want full out. attention. I know she is. I don't want her to come out of here and want to fight. I'm not that far from her. So maybe she can show up here later. Want to fight me? Oh, oh, what's up, Harry Bootle? God, beef, whatever it is. She's not going to be fucking mad about me hanging out with a friend on YouTube, especially after I just go to that fucking fire opal. She ring. is. She was. Okay, okay, she just got her Hawkeye. fire open ring. Hi, Hawkeye. Put everybody off with. <laughs> She's not that fucking guy. mad. You guys are freaking me out. You guys get me all hyped up reading that fucking goddamn side chat. I'm not gonna My look. are so fucking stupid. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. So, like, dude. Oh, my God. So, I remember when she was coming over, dude, and you and I were fucking talking. It was crazy, Josh. It was crazy that she was coming to your house and you were all excited. And remember, you did the fucking Bond tactical bathe down. So, all right, hold on. <laughs> it works. Okay. You don't, don't tell me anything that, or whatever, everybody that you shouldn't tell me. But all right. So, what happened? She knocks on your door. I love the smell of my soap. <laughs> so, you knock, she, does she knock on the door or were you waiting outside? She knocks. She wanted to knock on the door. She wanted to just call me and said she was outside my apartment. And you you don't remember? There. Yeah. Did you guys hug? Yeah, I gave her the biggest hug the first time I seen her. And she just sat there. And then I went to my dick and shoved it in her mouth. Like, ah, <laughs> ah. Like, you well, so she good. traveled a long way to get that penis in her mouth. The, had to the do it. story is like, he was like banging her like immediately. <laughs> yeah. How did you feel? Was it exciting? It's definitely interesting because I haven't had a girlfriend in like the last six years. So it's taking me a minute to adjust to it. Okay. Were you nervous? Not really, no. I had my tactical soap and I am <laughs> <had my> cool. So <laughs> all you need is a little tactical wash down. He didn't need tactical soap. She was already, she flew there to fuck him. <laughs> right it's like it's just a little confidence booster after being out of the game for six years and probably going through many bars of soap unsuccessfully right. <laughs> if anything he's proof tactical soap doesn't work and how great would it be if she got there and was like allergic to the tactical soap and couldn't get with him because of it I well, <laughs> you remember our conversation before she even went out there. We were like hoping she'd show up and he'd look at her and be like, "Nah, like that." <laughs> that you remember so that? Gangster? Yeah. Okay, so what did you do? All right, she <laughs> that would have been savage. Clean. I got tactical soap, my fridge of stock of goodies, and her favorite Red Bull. I think we're good. That's so awesome. All right, so she, does she? So you got hung. Fucking sheets before she came over and the bedding and all that, you know. Of course, you need to fucking do that, dude. Get your fucking goddamn fucking snots off the fucking sheets for sure. 
Did you know when you met her though that like it felt right, right? Like it felt good. Dick or- felt right. <laughs> I mean, like, does, does it take much to make a dick feel right? He's like, felt like pussy. It's right, right. to me. <laughs> it takes me to be honest. Oh my god! He's old enough. She likes to drink. We both like snakes. We both like to smoke pot. <laughs> like, I make my own dick feel right, but I don't find myself attractive. You know what I mean? Like, it's like that kind of shit. You know? Yeah. I yeah. wouldn't want to fuck me. I think I do find myself more attractive than I find most women. <laughs> uh, I'm not surprised. <laughs> not surprised. Oh, she used to work at Wendy's and she was going through a six year sexual dry spell before she met me as well. So that's kind of a trip. Okay. What? Yeah, Did he say she was going doing... through a six year dry spell before she met him? <laughs> we saw her porno videos. <laughs> did she lie to him? Did I really? Did, did, did that, is that what he said? Hold on. <laughs> what? Well, it, it's definitely interesting because I haven't had a girlfriend in like the last six years, so oh. it's taking me a minute to adjust to it. Okay. Were you nervous? Not really. No, I had my tactical sub when I kept my cool. <laughs> cool guy. Okay, so what did you do? All right, so she. My apartment's clean. I got tactical sub. My fridge is stocked with goodies and her favorite Red Bull. I think we're good. Her favorite Red Bull. That's so that awesome. Good, good. All right, so she, does she? So you got the fucking sheets before she came over and the bedding and all that. You know. Of course, you need to fucking. Do he that, even change the fucking... sheets. It's already more of a gentleman than I am. <laughs> I'm wondering, like, <laughs> I wasn't worried about before she got there if he changed the sheets. I'm worrying about after. Like, how much of her turbo yeast was left on those sheets? <laughs> Goddamn fucking snots oh. off the fucking sheets, for sure. Did you know when you met her, though, that, like, it felt right, right? Like, it felt good? Or it takes me to be honest. Oh my god. She's old enough. She likes to drink. We both like snakes. We both like to smoke pot. No, she pretends to like all the things you like, dude. She <laughs> knows you're like popular online and it doesn't matter to her why you're popular online. And she dives into that because she's the kind of person who will stream for eight hours in her bathtub. To like six people. So she's going to fuck you to get like a thousand people to watch the dumb shit she does. Because you are a vehicle to that. And yet, I mean like she'll fuck you for that. Don't think women won't fuck men for like things. It's been going on forever. (laughs) He's always said that he uh, was... The bar was very low, right? He was always saying, you know, the, 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 these are my these are my 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 rules. <laughs> he had his rules. He's like, everything else. She fits those she's rules, but of she's age. a very low bar for those rules. Yeah, but he didn't have a high bar. He was like, like and now that she's in his life, uh, all those things she's using him for, they're they're a big deal. But I think he's also. I think he's the least attached of the two. I think he's the more lackadaisical, nonchalant part of the uh, the, the the relationship. I think sure. if she left him tomorrow, he'd be fine. I think if he left her, she would have a serious breakdown. She'll have a breakdown, but it'll like she over exaggerates everything. It doesn't matter to her. Like it. OK, as little as it means to him. She'll have the breakdown, but once it's over, it's like next thing. So it's yeah. still like equal, but like her crazy personality has to have the breakdown. And that's why it's dangerous to him because she's going to say all this crazy. She'll make it public. She'll do all this dumb, grandiose shit instead of just like getting over it and moving on. 
Yeah, she'll be talking about this like she does her lottery ticket for yep. years to come. Yes, yes. It'd be like, Josh, yeah. Or it'll be like, Guta Bula Joshe Sulu, hey, like that. Guta Guta Cobra. Her favorite color is green. She used to work at Wendy's, and she was going through a six-year sexual dry spell before she met me as well, so that's kind of a trip. Man, okay. she no, was she not wasn't. going through a six-year sexual no, dry spell. No, she wasn't. Her porno was l- uploaded in 2023, and she was not seven years younger in that porno. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware of that, that people are going to lie to Jessica to make her mad. And she takes it way too seriously, and I'm working with her on that. And that's not a bad thing, because I used to be just like Jessica in that respect. I get way too fucking, like... And I'm like, it's people on the fucking internet who gives a shit. Now I'm questioning if she used to work at Wendy's, too. Yeah. That's just the attitude you gotta have anymore. Jessica, if you're watching, naked and laughing, if you're watching, call in, and Ben's gonna quiz you on Wendy's procedure. Ben will Four be the bottom press. if you really work for Wendy's. I don't care if you lie about a dry spell. That's one thing. But if you lie about operating a Wendy's facility, that's a that's no-go. That's a crime. I, I'm pretty sure that's we, a crime. We don't allow that on Drunk and Peasants Podcast. That's a crime. I friends who fucking message me and go, Cobra, I'm going to a dry spell too. And if you How try you and fuck- say, oh, I smell like Wendy's. I must have worked there. There's ways around that. I, you know what? It's going to smell like it, but when your pussy smells like it, I, I would just think you're like hiding stolen food in your pussy. Fucking deal with it. I'm like, yeah, she went from a Dave single to a Dave spoken for when she started dating King Cobra. It's a mental thing. You just kind of say it's not a need, it's a want, and I don't need it to be happy. And then yeah. That- a lot of it's not a need, it's a want. It's not a need, it's a want. Because I have my character flaws, like anyone else. Do you think now that, like, you have a girlfriend, that these fucking, these people are going to come out of the woodwork and be like, you know, other fangirls are going to be like, I'm going to be like her. Maybe. He's taking a minute. Cobra's- He's taking a minute Cobra's, to answer yeah, he, this, though. He doesn't want to say. He doesn't want to say the answer to this because it, it, it it's it's a time after Jessica, and she can't be thinking he's thinking of a time after her because that'll flip her out anyways. He's very much like the the reserved, caring person in this relationship. He goes out of his way not to escalate. Time and again, he when she started getting him banned for grabbing his dick on stream, he was the one's like, no more streaming. He's showing great resolve in this relationship. He's actually also showing what a great boyfriend he would be. So if she does leave him, all these girls are watching, like, you know, he's gonna buy me DoorDash, he's gonna send me a fire opal ring, he's gonna respect me. When I when I have my breakdown moments, he's not gonna he's not gonna fight with me. He he really is showing his boyfriend points right now. He's I'm not. Sorry, he's not so play, bad. Let me rephrase that question again. I didn't. I was grabbing another sun kiss. Have you noticed that like girls are have like uh, sparked an interest in you because of Jessica? That's what it feels like. I mean, like normally, like I do get fan girls that come out of the woodwork. But when I got chicks that see I'm literally on a date with Jessica, trying to enjoy mm-hmm. sushi with her and a friend. Because and just. Jessica, particular moment to come up and go, are you King Cobra? Can I get a photo? It's like, yeah. <laughs> I love how he says I'm it. I'm like taking a photo. Just don't be grabbing at my cross in front of my woman or anything, you know. Or on YouTube where I'll get Do a Do they band. grab on his crotch? He's got to tell her no. He's a Isn't rock star. <laughs> Isn't that great what? if you're out eating sushi with your, your gal naked and laughing and a woman's coming up to take a photo with you and you have to tell her not to grab your crotch and then realizing that someone grabbing his crotch did kind of ruin his life a little bit recently <laughs> got his channel a strike to meet jessica so do you think i'll mention her to you and like you know she's, she's here she's in my uh friends friends list you should like send her a link oh my god like, yeah, i don't want her to hate you know, dude quickly explain that you're a bjork fan as well and you just want to get to know jessica and you know yeah. have fun with her I don't she doesn't really have that many, really that many friends in life, and she could use more. So that would be really stupid. Uh, that's I was gonna say. Like, obviously, you know, does she have like a good close circle of friends? Or no, from what she's 
told me Jessica doesn't really have any friends. That's why she goes on the internet because she's seeking companionship huh. beyond just a boyfriend and yeah. her parents. You know, I, I get that. She definitely yeah. is using live stream in place of uh, social interaction. Yes. Kristen says, have you seen clips? So, Kristen. But most of us don't bathe in front of people for social interaction. I have completely Most of us also don't bathe for nine hours. <laughs> all things of Josh and shit right now. And you guys can fucking judge me being a weirdo about it. But I hate. Like, I don't want to watch from afar. Like, shit that's going on. Especially, like, edit channels and shit like that. I want to hear it from Josh. Oh, fuck the edit channels. Jessica Messica, we'd love to talk to you on our stream if you want to follow us on Twitter or whatever. Uh, and we'll talk and you can, uh, like, if you'd like to be on our stream and talk about, like, what, like, your experience on this, we'd love to talk, uh, talk to you about what, it. What Queen Cobra's in the chat right now. Where is she in the chat? Is it the real know. Queen Cobra or is it some impersonator? I don't I can't see. love to do that crap. They will impersonate my friends and my family and fans when I'm doing videos and Is she watching in chat? Is she sleeping right now, Josh? Or is she I have no idea what the fuck she's doing. I'm not her babysitter, you know? <laughs> boom boom. Oh, she's watching. What's up, low battery? Because I do care about her. If I didn't fucking care, I wouldn't send her. You know what's so crazy to me, Josh? Right now, I can read side chat right now, and there's so many fucking girl world people in side chat. Like the crossover is insane, Josh. I, like, I got us some Taco Bell cantina. Yeah, like he has no money. He's he's getting kicked out of where he lives, and he's buying her like shit for drink combos and. I mean, she's the reason he got kicked out, right? Like, let's I, be real I assume about so. it. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think he. I. 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 I don't believe if she wasn't there that he would have got kicked out. Right. Um, she did a lot to up his. Um, she screamed at him all night. Yeah, she did a lot to make him yeah. a, a target for the apartments. Items earlier. A regular you bought her dinner? Yeah, I buy her dinner when I can afford it. That way she don't got to cook and her and her family are fed. Yes, Jessica Massacre trolls the fuck out of Jessica, my girlfriend, and it's disgusting. Shame on you. Hold on. We got Damn, call. Jessica mute Messica. It. Mute it. Angry mute. Jessica call. So, I'll mute no. you right here. Hold on. Guys, the worst, Jessica. Don't fucking troll him. Be salty about you being on a panel. Does she care about you being on panels and shit? She didn't say that. She just said, read my message. And she says, I care not to join Courtney's stream because of all the comments and all the negativity. Because social media is, it is yeah. toxic to a point. Yeah, you, know, sure. you know what I'm saying? Like, you're literally having a crap day. So you take it out on some random stranger on the internet because you're pissed off at the world. Yeah, that's what people fucking do, dude. Not having a bad. Oh, there you are, Jessica. Look at you. A day, you know what I'm saying. That's what they fucking do, dude. Josh, what happened with some footage about a cat? Is Courtney peeing? I, don't I know hear about dripping it, but in the background. I get background. to you. It's all overly projected bullshit. I know Jessica loves her cats, and I think people are just gonna like take whatever they see and like try to like oversell it, you know, like, oh did you see what Jessica did? And it's like, shut up. Yeah, well, does any did anybody clip it or are they trying to fucking project that did something that didn't happen that way? Yeah, they clipped it and they're like trying to over overly project it kind of thing, yeah. <laughs> I love how he's and he has his drink. He hasn't taken one sip out of it this whole time. It makes me sad. He hasn't? Uh, not many. Look how full it is. Right. It's very well, full. I thought he, he refilled it though. He he made two so far, right? I will. You can post that link. I thought I remember well, too. Jessica Messica is literally fucking obsessed with my girlfriend, and it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, it's she's ridiculous. watched her prior to you too. Yeah, it is not healthy, dude. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Jessica Messica? Like Why are you so unhealthy? about dating my girlfriend and she totally gets trolling and how people are fucking assholes 
Most yeah. women wouldn't know how to put up with it because most women haven't experienced it. But we tell them, so much to fucking scream, you know. So, have you talked to Jessica Muska ever? Have you interacted with her? No, I haven't. And no, she's not a fucking sicko. Fuck sickos. Fucking. Maybe it's the fake Jessica Massica. Might be real. I don't know. Problems, but that's because she's been like mentally abused her entire life. By who? Like her family or parents? Like people can only take so much before their mind starts doing things. Have you, like Jessica, does, like, does she have a good relationship with her family and her parents and stuff? I would hope she has an amazing relationship with her parents. Uh, you know, I don't want to. It's amazing when you it. live at home in your 40s and fight with your parents like they are uh, people you don't love or respect. That's it's easy. It's pretty amazing. That's none of my business. Yeah, 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 for sure. Jessica, if you're watching this, Courtney's a BR fan like you are. You two get yeah, along. Yeah, for sure, dude. <laughs> for sure. If you bloody see Courtney's like blue cat, it looks just like the one you miss. Do you? So, does Jessica Mesca wants to come on here? Do you want to talk to this girl? No, did Mesca really, come on? Because I don't want to deal with the other half getting mad about it. Yeah. I'm not going to talk to her arch enemy about it, dude. That's between. So, I don't want to get that's involved. loyalty right there from King Cobra. No Jessica consorting with arch enemies. Jessica, call number two coming through. Can you? <laughs> oh, I want we'll fucking gas. <laughs> we'll just breathe heavy, Jessica. Listen, we'll just breathe heavy. It'll just be like me and you just tussling in the fucking street together. I'll like, <sighs> I'm like, Jessica, I just gotta take a break. I need to get a new port. <sighs> Like, if you want to talk to her uh, when I'm not on camera with you, that's your choice. But, like, I'd rather not have her on panel with me right now. Yeah. Cobra Angel go. RU says, Courtney, did you hear the audio of their last fight? That is some messed up shit. There's audio of your last fight? Because one of my fucking fans called me and Jessica answered my phone and she was drunk. That's pretty much how that went. Okay. And and I asked her, that's when she had threatened, or when she had said Cobra touched her inappropriately, right? Yes. On that call? And then it hung up. Yes. I don't, I don't phone, buy that. I don't go through your phone without permission. Like, I'm trying to be a solid boyfriend to her. Okay. And she's so used to, like, being abused and treated like shit. By the way, please, everyone, like the stream. And please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thank you. That like, I gotta tell you, when a girl's used to being treated like shit, she doesn't know good treatment. Hey, she man, doesn't I'll understand what good treatment is. She's taking you for granted, King Cobra. Come to realize is that the people you date create your dating behavior patterns to a point. And that's nothing against Jessica, but any stretch of the imagination. So close. But why are you going on this girl's stream but not on the sweet boy's stream who've been fans for years? Thank you, mm. Josh. It's interesting. Fun. Like when you're used to being We need like, like a uh, a decoy woman that can wrangle Josh because he loves to Can we get Ryby back on here or what? He, man, where's Ryby at when we need a decoy woman? Shit, Ryby I mean, is a perfect decoy woman. Yes. I don't even think Ryby's a real person, let alone a real woman, but she's a quality decoy. Scene, you're going to act a certain way because, like, mentally, you feel like you don't deserve it. Okay, but I just want her to be a good girl to you. Like, she's good to you? Like, she's good? I'm not complaining. Like, okay, so like, I kicked her <laughs> out of my apartment. That wasn't her fault. That was my troll's fault. Okay, why was it your troll's fault? Because they called and they were... In the apartment complex I've lived at for the last six years, non fucking stop, leaving shitty reviews on Google Review. Okay, but like they've been doing that for a long time too. You know what I mean? Like it's been okay for a long time. Well, Jessica says it just came to a head is what it is. You Jessica know? Said that he's in a legitimate danger, legally, physically, mentally, with her and his ride life. To ride the Sibian for Cobes. Episode there you 400, go. never forget. Well, that's your, 
opinion. Shit. You know, I don't tell you who to fucking be. Seven Eleven sixty nine. I appreciate you fucking saying that for a Brian Chan. Fucking let it be by the Beatles. Yeah, no, I appreciate you saying that for. But I'm just saying that this is somebody that's watched her for a while that is forming an opinion. And again, the internet, Josh, people will form opinions upon people from afar. That's what I'm saying, Courtney. Hmm? Is I don't know it's just about time, about hell, but and opinions are like assholes. Time, dude. They form like, on the what? internet. If me, if me dating her like somehow makes her life a little bit better, then who am I to that's complain? Funny. Peace says that it was partially her fault, though. How was it her fault, Peace? Her but at what cost, that it was Josh? Because she was screaming like a banshee. Was she yelling in your apartment, dude? She flooded the washing room. Yeah, she was yelling and stomping, but I don't want to get into that. It's... Don't talk about it, then. Don't talk about it. I had people, Josh, that messaged me on Facebook telling me that you know, I it's kind of nice Josh. when you're dating somebody with mental illness to have the trolls to blame things on because you obviously can't put blame on people with mental illness. They'll never accept it. They'll never realize their faults or problems. So having the trolls might be a nice little tool for this relationship to go longer than its normal shelf life. I just saved Josh. He uh, needs to get involved and save Josh. I'm like, dude, I don't even know who this girl is. I come on here and fucking save Josh. I have no idea. I have no clue who she here is. Here comes dude. more moonshine. So remember the remember uh Chaz, dude? Th that's like it's like Chaz times a thousand where people are like, This is a bad person, she can't talk to him, he's she's a bad influence, dude. It, uh, you're growing up. Oh, all their own fucking opinions about Jessica based off of what everyone else has fucking said, and that's what's so toxic about the internet. Is you don't want to get to know the person, you know what I'm saying? Cranny, have it, have her send it. Can she send it to you? <laughs> you guys are fucking nuts. Jessica threatened Josh with a machete. Did she threaten you with a machete? No, she did not. She was threatening someone else. Oh my god! Because people guys. like to fuck with her nonstop, like they like to fuck with me, and you know, yeah. I don't Same trust her with an eight dollar machete. Expect to have a supermodel, you know. I see what I look like. I swear to God, if she's talking about off. buying an eight dollar machete, I'm buying her a hundred dollar machete because I want that cut to be clean. I don't want her uh -huh. hacking. I want the doctors to have the, as much of a chance to sew it back on as possible. An eight dollar machete is gonna hack. It will. Ugly she is, and I'm like, honey, I've seen worse looking women. Ask Josh what he thinks about Nal's cam videos. Does she have any cam vids? Yeah, Jessica used to be a cam model, like a chatterbait type model. And honestly, I don't care. Everything just, in my life is a saga, and it gets so irritating out of out of the points. Lucky Lipper with Nick safe. Tastes just like Mountain Dew. Jessica loves great cats. Josh, not a sponsor. Jessica would be beating Josh if she's in cat. Is he gonna put Why a little chew in his new moonshine drink? Is she drink? aggressive, Josh? No, she's not aggressive. Why do they keep saying that? I have no idea because when she was drunk, she was like pushing me and. Oh and yeah. Did you get into a fight, like physical? Uh -oh. This thing right here, the puff toy. No, we didn't get into a fight. We resolved it like mature adults. She was hitting him okay. with a puff toy? She's not aggressive. Okay. Like, hey, I, what are you going to call aggressive? How, how are you going to define aggressive? Like this versus, you know what I'm saying? No. People, yeah. people don't know the whole story. They don't need to know the whole story. Does Jessica smoke butts? Does she smoke cigarettes? No, she doesn't, but when she gets drunk enough and she's in the mood, I watched her smoke a cigarette with me before. She did? Yeah, right. but she's not. She'll smoke closed cigarettes on occasion, which that, that doesn't bother me in the slightest. She'll smoke closed. Right, hold on. Jessica Messica. Hold on. I saw Jessica Messica. Courtney, check your most recent email. Okay. I'm going I'm on myself. I never painted Jessica Messica as somebody who just dumps fucking like lies on the internet and shit like that. 
And I feel like that she has like a, a bit of a gauge to be. She does. Like, she's not like the normal. Can we trust person. Jessica Messica? I she, think so. I don't like Name Josh to take offense towards these ladies that are worried about you. They could be I'm ladies. Not that, I appreciate that everyone cares about me. Yes, I'm saying like these are like ladies that have either watched you or recently came into the community and they're like, you know what? I don't fucking feel so good about this and whatever. So they had six. Yeah. That's the thing of it. They had six years to make their move. Jessica was the one that made the move. I know, but I'm saying it's not even like making real. Like maybe it's like Jessica Messica. I don't know. She just she's just looking out for you. I don't know. I don't I think she's bad. Between Jessica Messica and my girlfriend Jessica, so like. I don't want to get into it. I, just, I know. I, I don't blame you for that. No, for sure. In my life. For sure. But what I'm saying, though, is that too, Josh McLean. Jessica, I'm dating her. That's just how it is. Maybe you could get Jessica Messica and your Jessica to, like, talk. And, like, maybe she could. <laughs> That's probably not going to happen. And I don't want to, like, force that. Or, like, you sure? That'd be like getting Jessica Cobes and like, bite-sized Cobra to talk. Or, like, yep. Like, Gets her out of her comfort zone, then it's just not going to happen. Now, already said she was talking, taking Cobes' clock tower money. Shut up, Pat. No, she's not, dude. Like, what do y'all think? You guys have some weird intentions that you think that Naked and Laughing is trying to take Josh's money or trying to find a new home to live in or trying to get out of her situation? She's not trying to do anything. She's not taking anything. She's just trying to find herself. She's been abused her entire life mentally and at times physically. And she's just trying to find herself and do her thing like we all are. And that's she, hard when you face mental challenges. Josh, did she pee in a cardboard box? What are they saying? She did do that when she was really drunk and hanging out in her attic and she didn't want to like go downstairs and use the toilet. It's but just I'm a little like, piss you know box. What? She ain't hurt nobody. She's doing her thing. Yeah, like, what's a little piss alone. box? You know, like they're looking out for you and they're Yeah, I appreciate that people are overly protective of me, to be honest. It shows that I got people in my life who give a shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we care about Cobra. who have nobody and their life who sucks. And then on top of that, the person they hate has all the things they wish they had. Yep. And that's why they attacked me for it. Gia says that, does Cobra want to have a child with Jessica? I think he was wearing condoms <gasps> You paused! Visit. You paused! I paused? Yeah. What the fuck? I didn't... Did you hear what I said? Yes, I did. Joshua Face Wonders. Do you want to have babies? Huh? No, I don't want to have babies. Jessica, call number, number three. Clock tower dream okay, what if you have a clock tower tomorrow? You have a fucking goddamn baby. I'm getting a call from Jessica. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I hate seeing animal. Oh, hold on. Somebody just said that. Animal abuser. You guys, if you. <laughs> and fuck the trolls. I'm not answering any more questions about Jessica. All right, oh, so shit. let me ask you this. And maybe it'll, it'll be the last thing that incorporates Jessica. So, do you feel? Oh God, I can't read these comments, Josh. Do you think that like uh, you're not settling, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're not. No, settling. I'm not settling. I haven't had a girlfriend in six years. It's not about settling. It's just about dating and seeing where it goes. Yeah. You know, if anyone else in my position, they would understand. So, like. You can't yeah, settle when you've only like been seeing somebody for a couple of months. A female that's of age, alive, cisgender, non-related, etc. But with all Fuck these standards, those. how can you expect you him? She must be the only one with all of those. He needs to add non out of their fucking mind to the list. Fucking ears. Knowing that the YouTube trolls will just scare off every chick that you try to date. So you hope for the next one that doesn't get scared off. And I'm not saying she will get scared off. I'm not saying anything. But that's just my perspective. Yeah. People are sick, one of the most endearing things as a woman like, is that she doesn't get scared off. Flats. And fucking scared off 
chicks that I was trying to hang with, and it's stupid because they don't have their own flat and they can't get girlfriends. They spend all day hating Cobra. Um, oh my god. So, don't do you do think at any point, Josh, though, that like you, uh, you and Jessica hung out like a long time together, though, you were, you were with each other a long time. You're super defensive, though, about um, her behavior by saying... I've been with her, like, since February 9th, and mm -hmm. I'm prepared to defend her as much as I can. Okay. And I guarantee you, Jessica doesn't abuse her cats. The people are just going to take what she says or what she does when she's drunk out of context. Okay. <laughs> She takes what she's when she's drunk out so, of context. What are you assuming? Have yeah. you seen anything they're you're not talking abusing about? Like, cats when you're drunk? You're abusing alcohol when you're drunk. About? The cats are just a byproduct product of the alcohol abuse. Fucking see what the fuck they're talking about. No, I don't watch anything either. I, I do this. I, I do don't. This. Exactly my point. I'm like, I don't want to watch it. I don't care. I don't care that Jessica's mouth is probably bullshit. So that's just. The way I look at it, you know what I'm saying? All right, I get scared. So here's the thing, Josh, is that you know that, like, your community knows, like, the trigger point for me is to, like, talk to me about cats. So well, Jessica fucking loves her cats. Only in Saudi or her okay. family. So there's nothing that, Ooh. like, she's ever done on the internet? No, not that I'm aware of. Well, there's, like, one or two people I trust on the internet. Maybe one's Kristen. Um, honestly, Trust me, she's got six cats. She loves cats. Okay, so I think you're good. Okay. Okay. And I'm still sitting there saying, Cobra and loves that's the thing of it. Take advantage of desperate men every day that don't have autism. Poor Josh. P whipped is a true medical condition. Law. He's not P whipped. He's enjoying the P. My EC troll said, You can be whipped and enjoy the it. The ring I got her was an engagement ring, and that she said it. And as soon as I went to her community page, he's, he's, he's really being a respectful boyfriend, other than the fact that he can't not talk about her when she just called for the third time and said he was not going to talk about her anymore. And Courtney just doesn't even pause and just continues asking him questions about her. And he's answering them because he's Cobra. Funny games, man. Kind of thing. So that's what she said. She's like, "Hey, yeah, you know, pretty much. You know, my boyfriend gave me a ring. A ring. She never said that. Okay. The one asshole who said it was an engagement ring was just trying to fucking troll her. Yeah, you know, it, it that, maybe that fire opal. Fire maybe, opal is fucking gorgeous for sure. Like maybe you, like you can look ring. at Charles's comment and he said, "Congratulations on your engagement," and it got pinned though. And that right? comment got deleted because I'm like, it's a girlfriend ring. I know, but I mean, why she? Why oh, she God. Know, like, yeah, that Poor Jessica boy. has never had a boyfriend that buys her jewelry. That's actually kind of sad. So, all right. So, in her defense, hey, he well, hasn't she, had a girl, she was girlfriend excited in about six, it. seven years. Like, this is very minimal stuff for a guy that's been out of the dating pool for a while. He's not pussy whipped. This is just, hey, it's nice to have a girl in my life type of shit. That's why she pinned it, right? He, he, if, if, if he was actually pussy whipped, he would not still be on this call right now with Courtney. He would have hung up if he was actually pussy whipped. Yes. He, sure the, the first call she called yelling at him, like, yes, dear, I'll be gone, dear. I'll hang up now, dear. That's P whipped. True, true. She never said there was an engagement ring. Okay. She just so, said it was a ring that her boyfriend bought her. She didn't say it was engagement. Yeah, she just pinned it, though, right? You was just showing it off because that's what chicks do when you got that bling, you know what I'm saying? Huh? Some they keep saying that she like punched her cat, dude. Why do they keep saying that? I don't know why the fuck they're saying it. I'm pretty sure she didn't. You know, I don't know. I don't know the whole story, so I don't want to make assumptions. They what if she was only punching drama. the cat to end sickos? Oh, that's what they do. Yeah, no, for sure. You want people to fucking have assumptions. So it creates more drama and it's fucking retarded. Like, so, all right. Like, hypothetically, though, like, if you ever saw her being abusive to a cat, would it, like, be a game changer a little bit? Yes, it would be, to okay. be honest. If I saw her abusing animals, I'd be like, I'm done. Yeah. 
I, I don't honestly mm. I don't think she was doing that. I think the people are just taking what she did when she was drunk and twisting it to try to like, I mean what you do when you're drunk you're still responsible for. Like create drama kind of thing. No, I recognize that stream. She was is that, hold on. Why are they playing Wayne's World right Party now during time. this? Oh excellent for my recent is that Campbell Mike event. Myers as Wayne Campbell? Her. <laughs> her house looks funny. Like her house looks like fun behind her. She got like fucking plants and shit. Not a sponsor, GoPuff. Courtney's being told what time of the video the cat you incident see? takes place. Courtney, she got oh, cats like you do. You two would right get along for like two pieces. That's awesome. Go puff. Burrow out of whatever you're in. Yeah, where did Puff go? Don't wear the hat to troll him. Uh oh, she's calling to get this fucking One video second. taken off. Okay. Something bad gonna happen? Just because gonna... not a cat abuser, you can clearly see she loves her Thank cat. You the head butts, Ollie. Thank huh? you. People are fucking Thank disgusting you. assholes. I love you. He just wipes snot on my. I think I'd rather fuck my... Mike Myers dressed up as Wayne. Right here, <laughs> Ollie. That's what they do. They mark you. Why? Oh, you see, you don't like that. You don't like. Everyone keeps saying that, like one twenty four thirty. She does something. I'm definitely smashing Dana Carvey over both of them. Please, your fucking claws. Here, let's get the blankie on the back of your. She's not doing anything, dude. Assholes. You're fine. I guarantee you, nothing happened. People are just trying to fucking like make it into a bigger deal than it is. Yeah, they said like, uh, why is she like looking like she's gonna vomit all the time? One twenty four thirty. She might vomit. She does something. Y'all said that she punched this cat, dude. Like y'all said that she punched a cat. Yeah, if I see anything less than a haymaker to the cat. It's not abuse. She would punch a cat, to be honest. All right, 145 now? Y'all are fucking killing me right now, dude. No, That's Jessica shit. Mesica, she though. If, if, no if this happens at 145, then we know we can trust Jessica Mesica. Oh, yeah. right, 144.50. Eat shit. Let's go. Eat shit. Exactly. I trust you, Jessica Mesica. Let's do it. We're here. Right the fuck point. I love fuck it. Jessica Mestica. Where's the proof? The y'all are saying that there's a Josh is so drunk here. The fucking shit that's gonna happen right now. Damn it, Jessica Mesca so in our chat broad. says it was one twenty. Jessica, this is why you. this is why people question you. Hold on, watch. Dude. I highly doubt that Jessica was intentionally smack her cat. Are you up for blood? Look, you want to me. me. I don't want you near me. I think uh, Oh, they they had to, yeah, because you can't put that on YouTube. I don't want you near me. She wasn't yeah. abusing it. Yeah, she she was was her by her mind, dude. Gonna be she she just ripped the out though, like that, though, dude. Uh, you fucking it. lucky you had a sweater on, dude. I, I'd fucking send you to SPCA right fucking now. She wasn't abusing the Maybe cat, that's dude. a better option. Just picking it up by its scruff and going. So she okay, grabbed it by its scruff. Be, well, then, you can get off of me. And How do you feel about grabbing so an animal by of... their scruff? Uh, is that abuse? It's... Yeah, because normally that's like something that their mothers do when they're like little. Uh, yeah. When, yeah, it's not normally a thing you should do as an owner of a pet. I've I've only did that with like puppies because they're so cute and I never do it to like punish them. Should, I just carry them around like a scruff puppet. I'm like, hey, little you buddy. You still shouldn't do that. Okay. It's hard not to, punch though. They're little like, puppets. Oh, you should. Of course, you love, you know what I'm saying? Like, people are stupid. He's an older cat, though, Josh, too. Well, the difference is, though, with Josh is that the fact that I am invading in which they are an animal. And how they feel and how they <laughs> That's right true. If, if she should be able to pick the cat up by its scruff because they both piss in boxes. That's a, that's a, she gets a pass. Yeah, but I don't think this cat is a kitten. Jessica no. would never abuse her cats. She fucking loves animals. A wild opossum almost crawled into her goddamn kitchen. 
and she was trying to like pet it because this thing was fatter than the biggest cats I've seen her possess. Shit you not. And all these assholes who want to sit there and be like, oh, Jessica did this. Jessica did that. No, Joshy, I don't care. If that's what don't you, care Joshy, is this the video Joshy, of when they hung? Don't get upset. I'm not getting upset. Yeah, baby, I know you're not. We're not playing crap like this. What's up? What's up? Hey, wow, Courtney is pushing. I know you're not. I don't you're care not. what it is. Let's not play it. If it's involving me and Jessica having a verbal argument, I don't want to play it on YouTube. Is she aggressive to you? I don't want to draw attention to it. Is she okay. aggressive to you, though? What's that? Is she aggressive to you, though, like that? Yes, she's attractive to me, and she's aggressive, <laughs> aggressive to me. And she's yes, she's attractive to me. Asked that we quit talking about her on screen. I want yeah, to show Cobra a little respect, Courtney. Being the absolute fucking worst. So here's the thing, though, Josh, is that I 1,000 percent appreciate fucking Jessica not wanting any of us to play these things. Right? I get that, but live streams it. For the fucking internet, dude. It's it's. I'm not playing anything that's fucking private that nobody needs to fucking see, dude. If she played this fucking internet, dude. Yeah, yeah, but dude. she's already called him multiple times. You're playing it, and it's pissing her off, and it's fucking with him. You're not a very good host right now, Courtney. No, if great Cobra host. Came on our Amazing show, host. Cobra came on our show. We would show him <clears throat> respect. Dude, like it's something that she put out there. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, if I she to a point, and that's something we all gotta learn. Like, what you Josh, is she about. aggressive to you that, though? I've heard two seconds of it, though. I've heard two seconds of it. Well, if you wanna watch that on your private time, that's fine. But, like, I will yeah. for sure. I will for yeah. sure. I don't want any more drama being directed towards I don't you. want you to have fucking drama, Josh. But this is something that, like, is on the internet, though. How that why are you why was cock that, why blocking is that our boy Cobra right now, Wait, Courtney? Because you Jessica recorded a stream. Oh, was she streaming? Was private, and then she deleted the stream, and the shit got. Okay, started. so she was streaming it, not you, yes. right? No, I was not streaming it. Because you're respectful, and you wouldn't stream that shit to the internet. But did she? She kept her live up. Being respectful to the internet. It's the thing of uh, Jessica was streaming on her channel. And I wanted to. When you were drunk and passed out, though, too, right? No, I wasn't drunk and passed out. Wow. Okay, let me explain, okay. please. Go ahead. Okay, Jessica doesn't have that many subscribers. I don't want to make it about oh, the King Cobra's here, you know. So I try to like stream with her on her channel, and the trolls are fucking with her super hard. And we were both a little bit tipsy. Okay. And that led to an argument. And I'm like, Jessica, I've been doing this for a long time. This thing on YouTube, you have to just learn to say fuck yep. your toes. Cause they're not you're experiencing this, for sure. You're experienced. You know what the fuck you're talking about, dude, for sure. And it's not an insult on her. It's just me giving her friendly advice. Mm -hmm. It's not saying I know. That's this sage that, advice. You know, Oh, it's not about superiority. It's just about giving her solid advice. Like, if you want to be a YouTuber like King Cobra, and you want to be like, oh, I'm going to make all these videos and do all this content, you have to learn to just filter that shit out. If I didn't care, you wouldn't be getting the fast food in the ring and the fucking money for your <coughs> green smoke. But we're not going to get into that. <laughs> and as as and money for her green smoke. What a great boyfriend, Josh. Day, it's none of y'all's business. I don't care if she's used to do cam shit. People need to get help. These people need serious fucking help. Josh, is she abusive to you, though, about, like, uh, like the way... No, she's not. Mm. Okay. She's not abusive. She doesn't. No, she's not. She's not abusive. To be honest, the trolls fucking the trolls fucking love to start shit, and that makes anyone angry. Can any, anyone who's had to deal with 
internet trolls. Josh, I uh, listen, dude. I've had crazy people call every employee that I work with, and shit. oh, there it comes. Uh oh. On me, I get that. I understand. Last Josh, call, she said she didn't want any more talk about her, and all they've done is talk about her the entire time. She's gonna be pissed. Please like the stream, everyone out there. And please subscribe also to this it channel. Thank you. Abusive. Like it's a one million. I should answer that. Go ahead and answer it. Okay. She's been she's tried. Well, like she's been in so many abusive relationships. She's not used to a sweet guy like me. Oh my god. I fell for this shit like in the the ninth grade. You know what I mean? <laughs> like Josh, I get that, dude. I'm not talking about it. I totally get that, dude. Is that I understand that, but it's not an excuse though if she's being fresh to you. She's not being fresh. She's definitely not fresh. I answer that. I'll mute you. Go ahead. No, it's good. Uh, yeah, he's not answering now. You should oh, answer. God. You should answer it, dude. I don't want any fucking drama. That's all. I'll mute it. Go ahead. Go ahead. She, I'll awesome. mute it. She pulls up. Jessica goes insane. <laughs> what a fucking... But, uh, Courtney. I gotta hate you guys for this. Oh, I hate you. Why are you making me watch this? Courtney, this is stop playing this is naughty. Shit. Just stop. Stop talking about it on your fucking channel, please. Just stop. Okay. It's giving me anxiety. Yeah, now you're abusing Cobra now. You're taking so now Cobra shows person. up like stop. Yeah, because he's already told her once. Courtney, you're taking advantage of an autistic person. He's a good-natured human being, and you have the choice not to do this, and you're choosing to go against his word. Inappropriate. Okay. Stop. Josh was trying to film a new cooking video when Jessica went live. Fucking assholes. The oven. Courtney. I'm, I'm stopping it right now. Gone. He's getting mad, dude. He's getting mad. He should. He's already I'm, said multiple times. I'm serious. It's giving fucking Jessica anxiety. People are fucking giving her. They're, they're trolling her nonstop because of this crap. Just stop. I don't want him trolling her. I don't want him talking with her. I don't want him talking with her, dude. I don't. I don't want people fucking with Jessica just because she chooses to look past my faults and fuck me. Josh, don't see that. <laughs> she chooses to look past his fault. I feel and like fuck it's. Him. I feel like it's the other way around. He's but definitely he just, looking past her faults. Said right there that they're she. She can That's look the fucking truth. She can People look beyond her fault. Jessica, they wouldn't fuck with us in the first place. You just said though that she looks beyond your faults. Yeah, and there's that. nothing wrong with that. I'm going bald. I got a beer gut. It's not right. that big of a deal, dude. Assholes. He should commit to bald because Clint, Clint's his dad's name, right? Clint yeah. Saunders. Clint looks great. For some reason, I was like, is his dad's name Clint or Clint? Yeah. Clint. <laughs> I was like, Clint. Yeah. Clint Saunders. <laughs> I was like, was it Clint? <laughs> Clint Saunders. Those are my faults. <laughs> she looks past my faults, and I appreciate that. That's not okay, though. That's wrong. It's something we connect on. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad it's thing. It's not Courtney. a bad thing. I don't thing. know why you're getting upset about there are it. Two, because, Josh, there are two I want... people in the universe who happen to coexist at this point in time for how long we don't know. But for now, there are two little dust bunnies in the wind. Oh, Is so dust bunny adorable. racist? Maybe. It's not, right? I don't know. I immediately you. after I said it, I, I regretted it. Dude, I want you to be yeah, happy. I wish you that you want good for me, Courtney. I really do. Oh, my God. I'm fucking mad at this. 666 viewers were... Goodbye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, she ended the stream at 666 viewers. Yes. No wonder this is uh, such a positive stream. That was a, that was a killer number to it's end It's over. That. Ah, from our 
boy, Boglum Chronicles. Better not cap Cobra for us, boy. Make it watchable, boy. Thank you. Boy. That boy. Uh, Jessica Meska says, have you guys watched the stream of when he dumped her before they met? 100%. Yes. I was and very was surprised like, to see that. You got to learn to get a job and live in your own, sweetheart. <laughs> And then he was like, but I haven't had sex in six years, so dial it back. Let's yeah. let's run this one uh, in real life, in real time. Yeah, I'm going to run to the bathroom. Uh, I'll be right back. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of appropriate ages, this is the Big Face Billy segment of the show. If you got any questions, put them in the chat, and I'll give you answers. The answers might not be true. But if you speak with honesty, lies won't stop you. Let me do Peter Banner. Ah, oh, what a trip. The Drunken Billy Podcast. For like two minutes while Ben pees. Then it's back to the sweet boys. Tick -tick -tick -tick. Tons of crossover here, mind for least, cousin Matt. Ch cheers. Yeah, Jessica Meska's been hanging with us. We had Queen Cobra in the pre-chat earlier. She was not happy to see we'd be covering tonight's episode. Kind of was hoping she would show up live and then come on the show and then talk with us so we could be like, look, maybe it's time for you to break up with King Cobra so he can be free. I don't think Cobra wants that. I think he's happy in this relationship, whether it's abusive or not. I think he's enjoying this versus loneliness. I will be very happy if I see Clit Saunders show up in the chat. Cobra's dad is one of my favorite Casper people. I want to hire Cobra's dad to have him and his biker buddies run security for Cobra Con. So King Cobra feels comfortable coming out to the Cobra Con. Papa Clint got that sway. He can run shit. Him and his biker buds. What a trip. Did you hear Ryby 20 minutes ago? Was Ryby in the chat 20 minutes ago? Or did we just talk about Ryby 20 minutes ago? I did not see Ryby in the chat. If we're bringing back all everybody tonight for my 1,000th... I was first on DP 1,000 episodes ago. This is the 1,000 episode spectacular from my debut on Drunken Peasants, guys. I didn't know it until Ben said the episode number either. <laughs> I was like, what? 1328? 328? It's been a 1,000 of these things since I threw a little P. That, wouldn't that be great if we had a young uh, Paul show up with piss cups? Get me back, finally. This is definitely T. It's not P. Wouldn't that be a trip? I heard Ryby I... whisper earlier. I want to hear Ben Pye admit he that he played a Ryby nibble. I know what I a heard. A Ryby nibble? A nibble? I don't think nibble is the word you were looking for. I already saw Godzilla ver uh, King Kong's Godzilla X Kong. Not as good as... Uh, Godzilla minus zero and the best monkey movie you're going to see in theaters right now is monkey man starring Dev Patel, the slum dog millionaire guy. Go check out monkey man. Monkey man. Uh, shit, dude, that was such an insane intervention that we saw there. I, I didn't even expect that. Happy peasant versary, Billy. Yes, Marcus Trinius. It is your peasant versary. Did you a say that while episodes. I was gone? I didn't say peasant versary, but I did bring up that it was a thousand episodes since my debut. Because you mentioned that during the pre-show, so I wasn't sure. Yeah. It, well, I mentioned it right as the show started today. Because oh, was it? You was said it? the number. You said the number, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Oh, <laughs> that's you're right. Thousands. That's a thousand. Uh, people, uh, while we were gone, uh, we were talking, and uh, new music is coming very soon. I got a new album. I just mastered it this week. I'm working on album art. I'm working on getting it ready to go, so it'll be very soon. We're Thank looking like, honestly, we're looking for 
the release of your new album to coincide with a new DP meetup so there can be like a full on show? Yeah, we're going to have to have everybody show up and put uh, put their asses in seats. Yeah, come to Seattle, we, people. We would like to sell you um, uh, the full seat at the DP meetup, but you're only going to need the edge. Because you'll be at the edge of your seats. All right. If there's new Cobra developments, let us know in chat. Otherwise, we're moving on to something else. It's our new segment. Here we go. He called me sir. He got me so humiliated. People are discriminating against wolves. Wow. They're laughing at us, at our stupidity. I'm very excited for the Mike Tyson, Jake Paul fight. <laughs> I am. Yeah. I don't know yeah, who will win. I don't know who will win. Well, they're not going to have judges, right? So the only way to win is to knock the guy out. But we'll be able to judge as a, a There crowd will be too. judges. I'm pretty sure. Oh, there is? I thought there wasn't. Maybe I heard different information most fights have judges even if they're exhibitions um okay yeah mike tyson jake paul the real deal i like this bigger than uh logan paul versus mayweather like th that to me was not as impressive as this fight's gonna be all right, legendary boxer Mike Tyson is getting back in the ring. He's 58 years old. He's facing off against YouTuber turned boxer, 27-year-old Jake Paul. Now, the last time Tyson fought, that was back in 2020. That marked his first professional fight in over 15 years. Tyson recently released a pretty intimidating training video that shows um, you don't want to be punched by Mike Tyson. Take a look. One more. <laughs> Day three. I would not want to fight him. I Still would fight him just because that's like an epic ass beating. <laughs> like, like it's like fighting Brock Lesnar, you know, like, you know, you're going to get your ass whooped, but damn it. That, that's, that's, I don't want that. As long as you don't die. As long as you don't no. die. <laughs> With me. All right, the fight's going to take place July 20th. It's going to be in Arlington, Texas, streamed on Netflix. Here now with more, former heavyweight champion, the one and only Mike Tyson. Good to see you, my friend. What's up, Sean? <laughs> uh, listen, will you please promise me you're going to kick this guy's ass and shut him up, please? Hey, I will do just that for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're going out, you're going to do it for me. All right, I watched your training video um, I know you're in super shape. You're going into this fight. You're nearly twice as old as you're twice as old as this guy. Um, is that an? He's thirty years older than him, which is crazy. Yeah, that's the only reason why I wouldn't just be like he's gonna win. And by the way, on the betting odds, he's minus three hundred, which means if you bet a hundred dollars on Mike Tyson to win, you'd win three hundred dollars off of that hmm. yeah hmm. advantage for him younger faster uh although you look you know you look like you're on your a game in the video i, I mean I do you know. feel yeah i don't i don't think he's faster than me right how hard are you training i, I train every day okay how many hours a day hey, are you training? i think it's serious listen well, listen, it's, it's the whole day. It's the process goes through the whole day. I get up in the morning, do the road work. Then I... Yeah, like, Here's Mike Tyson has no normal job. He can train, like, literally all day if he needs yeah, to. You look at, uh, Ty, was it uh, Tommy Fury, Tyson Fury's little brother. Mm -hmm. He fought Jake Paul. And, like, half neither brother. of them... Half brother. Neither of them, like, had a decisive victory, right? Right. Yeah. Do you think Mike Tyson could beat Tommy Fury? Mm. 
here's my thing. I look at Mike Tyson's last pro fight where he got his ass kicked by, and this was like almost 20 years ago, Yeah, by a guy who was like a, a jobber. Mm. And he retired in the press conference after that. He I look did at that, that one exhibition against, was it Roy Jones Jr.? Was that who he fought? And, it, and he did good, but, I mean, it was against another guy about his same age. Yeah. Um. That's that's what I'm... And look at all the people that Jake Paul has fought that were like ex fighters out of their out of their age round. Basketball he beat them. players. Yeah, well that was the one of the first ones, right? Was a basketball player. Mm -hmm. That was that was the first uh that was uh, Jake Paul just decimated him. He was a guy who uh went to high school in Seattle too. Can't remember his name right now, but he's a Seattle boy. Oops. Mm hmm I can't remember it either. Nate Robinson. Yeah. Nate Robinson. Yeah, Nate Robinson. He got destroyed. Yeah, it, it, you got you got to look at the people that Jake has beaten and then start comparing them to Mike Tyson. Is Mike Tyson going to take them down? Yeah, but if I come, it depends on which Mike Tyson. Like, well, Mike Tyson now. Mike like, Tyson. We're talking Mike yeah, now. Because like Mike Tyson in the late eighties was unstoppable. Mike Tyson in the 90s is a fucking lunatic that went to prison that got out who was tough and won a couple fights but never recaptured the world heavyweight title. And then Mike Tyson in the early 2000s who kind of became like a lovable from the hangover movie kind of guy and like reinvented himself out of that. Did you hear the story of Mike Tyson's tattoo? How at first it was going to be hearts on his face? No, and yeah, I don't he was believe that. Hearts. I don't believe this. That's fucking... what he said. That's what he said. Okay. He um, said, go to the gym he said the one, tattoo then I artist talked him into getting a warrior guy. tattoo instead. Uh, then it starts all over again. Yeah. So Jake Paul is saying he wants to be a world champion. He he He'll says you're the greatest be heavyweight champion, champion ever. Unless he creates, like, a new world title belt or something. The baddest man on the planet and uh, the most dangerous How long do you think he has to achieve all... that? Like, at what point do you think he gets too old to achieve world championship status? Uh, the oldest world champion ever was George Foreman at, like, 45 years old. The oldest person to ever win a world heavyweight heavyweight title which i don't think jake paul is even a, a heavyweight he he's probably like a light heavyweight or like a cruiserweight middleweight <laughs> something like that time this this will be the fight of a lifetime you've had a chance to assess jake paul what do you think of his boxing ability i think it's you know he's came a long way from youtubing and listen I seen a YouTube of him at 16 doing weird dances. That's not the guy I'm going to be fighting. This guy's going to come. He's going to try to hurt me, which I'm accustomed to, and he's going to be greatly mistaken. <laughs> Let's talk about. Uh, there's been a lot of rumors out there about the fight that maybe uh, you got to have 18 ounce gloves. You're going to be wearing headgear. Any no, truth to any of that? No, not true at all. Yeah, yeah. He's clearing that up, and they, people okay. in our chat saying it like it's true. That yeah, not, this information it's, it's travels. It's pure, like, pro fight rules. It, like, regular size pro gloves, no headgear. Not true. And that's why Mike Tyson in the first three rounds can win. He needs to land, like, one solid head strike. Maybe even, like, a rib strike. He could probably land on on Jake Paul and, and end it. But... And he think he says here that he thinks he's faster, which maybe he still is, because Mike Tyson was so fucking fast. It was unbelievable back in the day. Yeah. Oh, not true. No true. Listen, um, if you go back and you like anyone who's thirty years old and under, you go back and watch Mike Tyson's fights. He, these guys that were like six foot five, and like. 270 pounds would come out to fight Mike Tyson, who was like way smaller than them. And you could see in their eyes, they were afraid of him. And he would come in and just attack them like 
nothing. Like, he was not afraid of them, and they were afraid of him. And he would fucking level them every time for, like, 30 fights. It's crazy. Like, they, they, they people told him he couldn't even be a heavyweight because he was too small. <laughs> like, in the light heavyweight division, he would have never lost. It's crazy. He was very... He was very short for a heavyweight. And sp- like he- small overall, too. Was he 230 when he was fighting? Yeah. It, uh, I'd have to see. But, yeah, like, let's see. This is called the exhibition. But if you look up exhibition, you will not see any of the laws that we're fighting under. This is a fight. You're going in, this is a real fight, and you're going in to win this fight. Uh, what is bringing you back? What is luring you back in? Is it kind of like the last Rocky movie, and, and you got stuff in the basement, you need to get it out? You know, Sh- Sean, I have a weird personality. I don't think it's weird, though. Whatever I'm <laughs> afraid to do, I do it. And that's how it is. I was afraid to, for the Roy fight. I was scared to fight again. I was 100 pounds overweight. I was however old, 54, 53, and I said, let's do it. Anything I'm afraid of, I, I, I confront it. And that's my personality. Face your fears. Like right now, I'm, fr- I'm scared to death. But as the fight gets closer, the less nervous I become because it's reality. And in reality, I'm invincible. I think yeah. the people hearing that Mike Tyson is scared to death, um, it's kind of reminiscent of, of the last Rocky movie, right? He goes, I'm scared to death. Champ, aren't you afraid? I'm afraid of nothing. Uh, yeah, well, okay, that, that didn't work out. Did you feel that fear or that maybe it's a sense of failure or potential failure all your career? No, it's, um, it's a sign of victory. Because and that helped drive you always, through I, all of those matches, all those absolutely. wins you had. I always, I always believe the adversity. I always believe the adversity or nervousness. It like pretty much catapulted me into success. If right. I didn't have these so, feelings, I wouldn't. Ha- I wouldn't go into this fight. That that yeah, it's all it's because people are saying like it's all about the money. I don't think it is for him. He's got money. Like he's he's doing well. He doesn't need he, money. But he but did lose all money of his money. Table. He lost all of his money for a while. He was broke a as long fuck. time ago. Before the hangover, there was that there yeah. was that valley between like being a successful boxer and then the hangover which kind of like was like, "Oh, he's a funny guy," you know? And all the bad PR going to getting convicted of a horrific crime and going to prison and all that shit and being a psycho like every time you're on like he changed his personality completely. I have to have these feelings of fight out of without- a dark place. He's if if you look at Mike Tyson now, he does a lot of podcasts, he does a lot of talk. He is 100% that guy. He's that dude. He's been through it. You could tell him the nineties uh, after after his, after the after all the shit went to shit for him, he was in it and he was making choices based on him being at a, a low mentally, and they were bad choices because he did come from a street life. He was that that animal of a human being, and he still has it in him now. But he's he's like one of those old dogs that kind of just walks the yard. Yeah, do you remember him? You look ar- at him. You remember him arguing with Keenan about like saying the n-word and he's like if yeah. i'm not an n-word i'm nothing yeah no he, he says stuff like that a lot he had a video clip recently with a i think it was boosie badass and boosie badass was like why should i respect you and he just dropped some fucking fire on dude he got calculated looked at him was like he's like man i'm you respect me because i'm i'm mike tyson he's like yeah. I, you understand what that means i'm mike tyson who so, I would- who are you Never go in the ring. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I hope you don't have those feelings of fear about me one day because I don't really feel like getting in the ring with you. Uh, one, one of those Mike, Mike Tyson left hooks is going to, you know, p- knock me right back either, to... I don't want to fight you either, Sean. I don't want to fight you <laughs> Thank either. You. Well, you know, Jim Gray, our mutual friend, uh, actually started our friendship, and, and what a great guy he is. And this is what he says about you. He says, you are the, the nicest ever. guy on earth. Nicest guy, one of the nicest people he ever met. 
And I read something. I, I know I'll talk a little bit about your business. You've gotten into the, the weed edible business and you actually have. They used to be against this so hard on Fox News. It's hilarious that like they're actually going to promote it now on Fox News because it used to be like, does not weed make you crazy and want to rob stores and be a loser <laughs> for the rest of your life? Yeah, because before Big Tobacco didn't want it to be legal, and now they want to capitalize on yeah. its legality, so they're ready for the flip. You know, yeah. <laughs> you call it Mike's Bites, it's shaped like an ear, obviously referring to... That is hilarious, by the way. He has these uh, Delta A edibles, which is an ear with a bite out of it. It's the watermelon flavor. Yeah. Vander Holyfield and the yeah. fight you had back then. Yeah, and this is what you said that really cap everything we have missed, please. Oh, uh, yeah, it looks here. Okay, tonight, WrestleMania 8, wrestling was real for the first time in over 100 years, and The Rock actually beat the trash out of Cody Rhodes, it says, and, and mm. murdered him in the ring, unfortunately. He's dead. Poor boy. Damn it. He interested Damn it. me. You said that it makes you a different person. <laughs> and Every little gummy ear has a bite taken out of it, yep. too. You want Black to offer berry. this medicinal help to others looking for emotional and physical relief. This is medicinal for you, correct? Absolutely. Not only myself, but many, many millions and millions and hundreds of million people on the planet. Yeah. You actually said if, if I don't use it, for a week or three days, you're a totally different person. And this is what you said about yourself. You're not a likable person. Whoa. Yes, Sean Hannity shit on weed, said everyone who did it was a loser. And now he's fucking literally like shilling edibles because his buddy Mike Tyson. What happens yeah. if he's selling? That's you don't what have happens, the though with time like they're. I'm, I'm not going to defend it, though. Like, with time, 20, cool. I, I don't know. 20 years ago, Sean Hannity would have been a lot harder on the gays, too. Oh, he's, I mean. Vacation. I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with my tripolar. Um, tripolar. Tendencies or something. But I don't nice. think I'll be smoking for this fight. And I think I'm going to be really, really irritable and nasty. Uh, I don't know if irritable and nasty might actually help you in the ring. Uh, I think it will. I think it <laughs> I will. Focus is probably good I for think him too, irritable though. and nasty will help Mike Tyson in the ring. And, uh, um, you know, maybe a pissed off Mike. Let, let me ask you this. So you, you're launching this new line. Is this something you would even, would you take this before the fight, for example? Normally I do, but at this particular fight, I think I'm going to go pretty raw and, you know, naked. He's going in. <laughs> raw like, naked. Wouldn't that be crazy if he just showed up with, like, a swinging dick? Like, uh, I'm naked. Yeah. With, with, with the, without all of it. You should do it. It's on Netflix. Uh, Let's uh, go. Right, so the fight's coming up. You're training. Um, you know what's yeah. interesting is this is a Netflix deal, and Monday Night Raw just signed a Netflix deal too. I wonder if we might get some cross promotion. Probably. I have any yeah. dislike for for Jake Paul? Like you, you want to teach him a lesson? I will do just that. But dislike him? No, I don't. I do not have no grudges against him. He's beautiful, and no, it's not. He's beautiful. I might even He's fuck beautiful. him after I beat his ass. From that perspective, this is from my. Dude, he just looks like a, a child next to Mike Tyson, though. I mean, like this picture of him. Ah, uh, my, my better go to God Church. Point of view, fighting of Mike, grabbing glory. You know, never for money, only glory. I would never risk my health for money. Yeah, and and you obviously feel like you're in the best shape. Uh, I know I speak for a lot of people. They want to see really, Mike Tyson. I'll be in They want to see Mike July Tyson 20. win this fight, and and my 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 guess is you're gonna you're gonna this is gonna be a great night. My, that's for sure. Definitely one for the ages. I believe you. As well. I'm looking so forward to it. I'm looking so forward to it. I respect anybody that gets in the ring of the octagon. Great respect, Oos. Uh, Mike Tyson. Thank you. Hey, Sean he Hannity here. Oose? Hey. Yeah. He said my Oos. Is that a slur? Is is that's that's a that's brother in uh in like uh Pacific Islander? Huh. He called he called him his oos. 
Is he I, is he is Mike Tyson in the bloodline? With I Sean saw Hannity? people like clamoring for Ryby earlier, so I pulled up an old Ryby video. Look at this. Or maybe not. Hey guys, it's me, Ryby. No, I didn't lose my voice, but I'm making you an ASMR video. Oh, so many people have requested an ASMR video, so I'm bringing you one now. Okay, let's get started. Okay, come on. Uh, so first, we're gonna start by taking a hit from my dirty bong. Better clean that bong. Shit, it's running out of lighter fluid. Fuck. I can't waste this. Every click is so important and valuable. Oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> now that we smoked illegal tobacco, let's get started. I'm gonna start by lighting a goddamn candle so we get more of this lighter noise in here because it's real ASMR-like. Yeah, look at that fucking candle. Watch the flame grab onto the fucking wick like a child molester. Okay, so the next thing what? I'm gonna fucking touch on. I'm gonna touch stuff. I would blow out that right. candle to end sickos. Make noises at you. Look, I'm tapping on a mirror. Look, it's getting like... It's getting all wrestled by me. Look at me, I'm manhandling this item. Christ. How many ASMR souls do we have in our crowd? Here, do you want to see what you look like? Oh. Why do I look like Ryby? <laughs> so like fucking I like this. This is kind of ASMR. -y. Oh, it's an infinite loop. Check it out. Why is her palm dirty like that? Right, so this, this is Ryby. Like She's I smoking that dirty bong. One in the morning and one at night. And it's for um anxiety depression it's called sertraline you're like a bigger ryby i'm like a better ryby that's my medicine look at ryby playing <laughs> fucking asmr seroquil maracas yeah Shake, shake, shake the Without them, I would be a crying mess. And I mean, I'm still a crying mess, but whatever. All right, so I found an old jewelry box in my bathroom. So I wanted to show you guys. It's still dusty and a little bit disheveled, but what it is, is there are different metals. And they're shaped like hearts, so you can attach them to a necklace. Uh. What is going on in the palm of her hand, though? It's from that bong, I'm sure. Probably capping off the little smoky smokes. <gasps> so pretty. You're sure about that, huh? <laughs> I'm 80% sure it's You're bong 80, resin residue. 80%. <laughs> I don't know. 80, <laughs> 20, it's because it's Ryby. That's... That's a pretty good. I'm pretty concern. sure she stopped farts coming out of her butt with the palm of her hand, and that's what it's from. I'm thirty percent sure of that. That that could be it. I don't know. I have blue hands, by the way, because I dyed my hair. See. Ah, oh, hair dyed. Damn it. Nope. Nice, like, I refuse to believe that that's hair. why. I always wanted to have blue hair like this, so I'm glad that I was finally able to. Like You've already got too many people out there thinking it was from cupping farts, though. They won't, yep. they won't believe anything else. Oh, look at that blue turquoise heart. Uh, I think this is a pink, a uh, rose quartz. Rose quartz is like really pretty because it's um, it's like a light pink shade. Does she have a culprit light heart? People in the chat, that's not the real King Cobra. King, the real King Cobra has a wrench in our chat. So, like, oh, quit simping for not even the real King Cobra, guys. Let's see. I have three, four, five. 
she's like, what can these simps jerk off to? Let me think of a new thing. <laughs> Literally anything, by anything. the way. Like, what do these simps want to jerk off? Uh, maybe if I put them all in my hand. Six. <laughs> you know, she missed, she missed, like, the grand, like, gold rush of, like, simp, simpery. Like, OnlyFans didn't exist yet. She tried to stream on, like, My Free Cams or something. And she did actually make money. But, yeah, if she would have stuck it out till OnlyFans, she'd be rolling in the dough now. There was so many. a sucker for blue-haired girls. Yep. He used to send a lot of money to Marge Simpson, too. I'm pretty sure Ryby designed some of Egghead's tattoos. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. Oh, that feels great. I <laughs> rub something between your two hands like this. Now that WrestleMania is over, I expect Egghead to be showing up. Seth looks Can showed I up. A chip for that look. My rings. <gasps> Not a fan also, to pay one of metals on and rocks clinking here. together. I am Maybe a fan of painting your nails. fucking nails, I'm though. On my nail. Why do we paint our nails? People with chipped fingernails. Oh, don't even fucking paint your fingernails Why at that point. You can't maintain Is your fingernails. Just stop. That I think about very often. Why do we outline our our eyes? Why do I do that? I don't know. It's your idea. Just to give volume to your eyes. There are my thumbnails painted. So colorful. I got this new grinder. And I like how it sounds too. Check this out. <laughs> Look. Peter Banner, people aren't just turned on by this. This actually does give certain people a uh, auditory uh, sensation that's more than just being turned on. It like gives people actual tingles. Some people really do respond to this in a way that's not necessarily sexual, but still stimulating. Can, like, Interesting how this like works. Cool. Let me open it and show you. But most sickos will jerk it to a whispering girl. Which is why I always get kicked out of libraries. I love that noise. Oh, well, that's so weird. It's got like, it's like covered in these little stripes of, um, or I'm sorry, these little like divots going horizontally, horizontally across the, uh, the grinder. It's got these like weird textures in it. You're scratching all the textures. You can hear it being pulled down. Look, you can hear how heavy it is. Watch. See? That's gravity doing that noise. Ryby is always in our thoughts here at Drunken Peasants Podcast. Cool full of stickers. And we're going to look at them together. Alright, so, I don't know what this is. But it says, Por Vida. So... No sé qué for es life. Esto, pero por vida. Okay. And then the second one is a monkey with some shit on its face. Let me fucking clean that. What the fuck? Oh, here That's I most definitely. I guess that would be a good idea. Rather an evil can evil monkey, right? sound going in your ears. I hope you're enjoying this, guys. This shit is so weird, but so fun to make, dude. I'm whispering Does she have a right glass now. of milk behind her? Jenkins. Whispering in your ear. Oh, it's probably a candle. But it's next to something that says milk. So it was confusing. Alright, we got this heart with some eyeballs. Bathing ape chocolate. 
It's oh. all a lie ass fox thing. Welcome to the United Kingdom, bitch. Why is there a lion standing up wearing a suit? I, I, I can't it's talk this way. The extra large store. Motherfucking Popeye, bitch. Blow your speakers. What if I just screamed right now? Just kidding, I won't do that. <laughs> Got him. Don't King, scream, Ryby. King, I need that emoji. sticker. I need that gangster emoji sticker, too. Love is gay. <gasps> I'm, I'm midway on the love sticker. I don't need the Marvel sticker. At route 66. Don't need the Route 66 sticker. The Simpsons motherfucker eat my shorts. I do need the Simpsons sticker. Here's a little witch. Not a fan I of the little witch sticker. Cheap Monday. Oh. Right, didn't let's... need the diamond sticker. Did need the diamond song about this? singing. Time to rock and roll. It's the dawn of a new era. Team Titan on the roof. Call me Rune Terra. You G of dudes try to capture my throne. But you're just like an empty quarry. Boy, you don't have the stone. Smash you to the center. Now that's what I call grind core. Push into the towers and I'll bring him out. Crush more. The Everest that never rests. You're rocking with the best. Obsessed with breaking through your defenses. I'll bring a little surf and turf to your door. I've come to introduce. What is this? Is this one of those like weird rap battles? This is Ribby's nerdcore rap battle. Ah. Put you in that gridlock, hits all summer long, like my name is Kid Rock. Huh. Feel the weight of the land, you can try to resist it, but there's no way. That's a Magic Mystic the Gathering Stone card. Stoneforge Mystic is not a five drop, Ribby. Um, I never want to get to know you. Fuck off and die. I never want to get to know you. What can I do? I can't change my family. I never want to get to know you. What can I do? I can't change my family. Are we reading all these tweets as they come down? I don't know what. I think this was maybe an intro that was made for us. Interesting. From Pop Squad. DP fans are fighting. Laugh in their fucking face. Don't get global though. Don't get global. Thank you, Biggles, for passing on that host. You have a good night, all right? Don't spend all, right. all that money in one spot. You save it and like invest it in hookers or something. Did oh, she just God. get KO'd by the microphone? Yes. <laughs> what just happened? Mic microphone Tyson over what? here. <laughs> this is an egghead video. Thank you, Biggles, for passing this. on that host. You have a good night, all right? Don't spend all, right. all that money in one spot. You save it and, like, invest it in hookers or something. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> what just happened? She gets a mic. What? <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. This is how Ribey left this, unfortunately. I'm here waiting this too. microphone yeah. took her out. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> I hate Ben so much, you guys. <laughs> Was I there laughing at her? Oh I like busted my lip open. Am I bleeding? <laughs> <laughs> I see my own. Uh, I see my own emoji in her chat right there my like uh, with the mask i'm like ha 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 like that yeah you're <laughs> definitely in her chat <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <sighs> am i bleeding i'm sorry but i can't, I can't see it let you know in like five seconds I hate Ben so much. Yeah, I, I was there. I don't remember this at all. <laughs> Cry me. That was amazing. Did you push the microphone into her face, Ribble. Ben? I wasn't there. It's okay, Ripple. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm bleeding. She said she I'm hates bleeding. you so much. Like, it was your fault. I think I was there in the chat laughing my ass I'm off. Bleeding. But I don't remember it. I don't, I don't see I it. hate this <laughs> microphone. <laughs> I'm so oh, well, fuck you, baby. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> it tried to kill me. It punched me in the mouth. Ben.
Ben's fault. I see it in the chat. Ben's fault. Oh, oh my yeah. god. Somebody's right, at the well. door. Somebody's at the door. I'm just having a bad day. I'm just having a <laughs> bad day. Oh my god, he's gonna see that I'm crying and this is gonna be weird. Somebody called the police on microphone Tyson. Hi everybody, it's me, Riley. Cause I'm garbage and you love me, right? Oh god, it's Ribe. Oh god. Oh, oh. Can I smell your underwear? Oh. The goddess herself. Me. <laughs> oh my god. I know I look cute. I know my goddess. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure you join those Discord servers cuz we're going to be going to be having lots of people join the drunken peasants. Now as always, thank you for being in biology class and don't forget to eat my ass. Don't no forget in my classroom. classroom. Don't forget, okay, espero que tengas un buen día. That means eat my ass. I'm gonna eat your ass. Eat my ass. Got him! Oh my god. I forgot about all this. You don't wash this. it, so I'll wash it for you. She's eating ass! I will Is that clean. Egghead's ass? Like, <laughs> I will make your ass so She's scooping clean. poop out of a tiny butt. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh. oh God! Oh, where are they? Oh, here they are! Hi, guys! She let herself go. Something I think. Something happened to Ribe. It's me, Ribe here. This is naked I'm so happy and Ribe right here. You. I'm all curvy and sexy. Yeah. Mm. You like what you see? Yeah. You are no. like curvy Ribe. You want Ribe no. to make more? Glamorous videos? Oh, yeah. You want more from Ryby? <laughs> Not like this. Get my glasses. You want more from Ryby? Then you gotta pay. I got a, a Patreon page. I got I know a some Patreon of you sickos page. watching right now totally would, too. <laughs> and, um, Gosh. me and my curvy self, we got a Patreon page in the link below, down below. Mm. If you want to see sexy Ryby with my curves, <laughs> mm, yeah, mm, yeah. <coughs> you want to see sexy Ryby with my curves, my beautiful body? Then you donate. You want to see more of me? Then you donate to the Patreon below. <laughs> Even a few dollars. Right, me needs your money. Because I'm broke. You hear that shit? Somebody sign? must have slipped you Ryby a Mickey here. Because Ryby would a never Mickey, talk like you this. Say. That uh, the Honest Red and all those others. You donate. The DFF, the DP, oh, the whoever Honest Red is watching. That there's definitely gonna be some donos. Watches this shit, you donate to me, cause Ryby's a broke bitch. Give me your money, bitch. Hold on, Ryby, you can't be doing puckering butthole stuff. That's the face when I give the suck. Do you know what that means? The suck. Is that French? It means loving someone. That's what that means. You just go like this uh. And that means you love them. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. She's doing something they call Zumba. My mom has a really lucky birthday. It proves that luck is not real because she hasn't had the most luckiest of... Uh, Things happen to her. A horse bitter on the face. What's her mom's once. birthday? I'd watch Beeman over Ryby. Wow. Seven seven. What is going on? Upstream for you like this? No. You know what Beeman would do? Jerk off and wink at you in the camera. <laughs> Hi, Carl. Carl, I like your Carl Kim. You're starting. Carl, right her cute doggy. I know you look pissed off because you're mad because I keep telling you you doggy. can't get down so you, you know, can go piss on she stuff. She would have done a lot better as a cam girl if the Carl Cam had, I don't know, space behind him. Well, I feel like 
she was probably about four years too early. I like her kind of shit would have done way better after she quit, which is crazy. But this is literally the way that I have to keep an eye on you and go to work. I'm such a good mom. There we go. I'm the Unabomber. Fuck her right in the pussy. <laughs> Wait, I need to grab the mic. Fuck. Oh, look at Egged coming in here, swooping in like a fucking we white knight. We knew you were going to come, Egged. Happy 47th birthday, by the way. Happy 47th, Egged. <laughs> Fuck her right in the pussy. <laughs> There. Yeah, people asking if Ryby has something in common with Sniper Wolf. Uh, Ryby's original streamer name was Diaper Wolf. Yeah, she pooped in diapers. That's how she started. <laughs> Do you like this music video that I'm making for you? <laughs> Ryby has a penis. She just got a hundred times hotter. Yep. Um, I actually Hold on. What's up with the Carl? What's up with the Carl cam? It fell a little bit. Carl's yeah, about to get away with murder I don't like now. this. Actually, I'm made of entirely of penis. So, do you think time would pass us by? In Looking a lot like Gail Cord Schuler without makeup on. Uh, who, like, by the way, Gail Cord Schuler is like almost 70 years old. <laughs> Your ass any day. Adam, and Ryby's like in her 20s here. Adam, I love you. Oh, oh do you? Ow! It's not one of those throwaway numbers. Chris Carlton goes. Is he oh, retarded? Yeah. Does he actually live in Texas? Yeah, it's a Texas number. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, wait, what's the area code? Uh, 469. Oh. No, no, fucking idiot. Wait, Why? I think he may have. Do you have a problem? Like, I think he you may have showed his him. number. I think he may have showed his number. Look, if your area code is four six nine, you can't get doxxed. That's a, that's a, that's a area code everybody needs to know. It's four sixty nine. Um, he's trying to scam me, you idiots. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. dox him. You fucking asshole! I just didn't know if you were. I just didn't know if you were cool with it. I was just saying. Oh, oh, yeah. Dogs are scared. Oh my god! Fine. What? We're up all night to get lucky. Dogs, you know. Look how tired my little face looks. It looks so disgusting. Yeah, this sleepy Egged. alien person in chat, I agree with you. Ooh, it's Ryby Jenkins. Yuck. Egged, go ahead and rub one off right quick, buddy. We'll do it for you. Go ahead. Yeah, Egghead, why don't you have a little WrestleMania in your lap right now? Okay. I was making a GIF. <laughs> a GIF? No. Did oh, she's making a peanut butter sandwich, obviously. Did he call it a... Did she call it a jiff? Obviously, she's talking about a peanut butter sandwich. A jiff. Yeah, that's used jiff peanut butter on a, a sandwich. It's a jiff. It's the only jiff I can see being made. Twitch.tv slash Ryby Jenkins. Yeah! Okay. I do need to do a makeup stream, though. Down, down, down. Did Egghead make this compilation? <laughs> is, is it titled Try Not to Come? Uh, I think so. The way the way her head is dancing Wait. around. Hey, Sleepy Alien 420, uh, don't need to spread rumors about Ryby Jenkins dying in chat. Uh, she didn't you die. Know none of us know if she's alive. She's alive. I know she's alive. Go get some drinks. Go get some. What game is this she's playing? Crash Bandicoot? Uh, motion. 
Anyway, I'll be right back. There you go. And she never came back. It was literally the last time we ever saw Ruby Jenkins ever. She got weapons on her wall behind her. What is that? A yeah, there was like something? BDSM shit on her wall. Looks like a a That's, bow. It's a troubling time. It's true. Uh, what what does the world come to? Oh, it's one I less Ryby Jenkins it. in it. That's not fun. Let's check out uh, our other segment, which is antagonism. Here we go. Wow. I can turn off a Don't touch me. Don't touch me. TP, are they going to touch me? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, here's uh, Brett Keen talking about the drunken peasants. Let's hear what he has to say. What? This is new. Yeah, and they're, um, they're here messing with you anyway, because, you know, of the, you know, that sh I don't know, them drunken peasants guys. Yeah, they really took. It. They I remember really took we've given them a new name. They're called the Drunken Peasants, not Peasants. Got them. Uh, by the way, that was used long before Brett Keen had ever thought of it. We had called ourselves the Drunken Peasants before. Okay, so. got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I go and check in. I go and check in on them sometimes. You know, just seeing what's going on. And I go us. in there and like. Because they had like a 24 hour stream or something. I can't even believe how much content they had on you. I just, unbelievable. Oh, I got a lot of older videos and all that kind of shit. What they simply did was they'd take a clip here and there and they'd talk for about 20 minutes about it. Something about my nose or my hair being too fucking gross. Nope, that's not true. We would talk about. We're always we super would, critical about his nose and his hair. We would talk about <laughs> his shitty ideas and then point out that he looks like a manatee. Are you something's <laughs> wrong? You know, so it is what it is. Yeah. Which is um, you know, proof that they're wrong. <laughs> I mean, you know, they can't attack the arguments that you have. Yeah, yeah I've too never bad seen... nobody can attack Brett's arguments. That's they're infallible. Yeah. <laughs> I'm lost. I, I, I'm not even close to it. I, I never I can't seen even... one single clip where a lot of these trolls ever actually try to debunk me or refute me. Debunk. It always Come has on. something to do with my looks and all that. And as long as my wife is well, telling me that I'm the most... you weren't so goddamn ugly, maybe we should be able to focus <laughs> on your points. Oh, my God. Handsome motherfucker on the planet. What the hell do I care if a <laughs> bunch of 500-pound fucking mongooses think about me? And Shit. I Dude, he's talking about me, isn't he? I mean, he he's saying all of us. I, I mean, he used to call TJ a fat ass, but Brett is clearly a fat fucker. Uh, and just, the the last video I saw of him where he was sitting down, he stood up and like fell into his bed to stop. It, did did I show that to you? Was that? I don't remember if I saw that, but I remember you talking about it. Okay. I just think it's, you know, it really hurts me to hear him talk about my uh, physique and not my points. Oh. <laughs> why has he got to judge my looks and not my points? Yeah, why? What a piece Gosh, of... Gosh, Brett. I mean... If, if, if anybody in chat is right, it's got to be Henry Luke. Both parties are at fault. <laughs> exactly. King Beard X in the chat. Exactly. What's up, brother? Yep. I may not be no Tom Cruise, but I've been told I look similar to Tom Selleck. So that's no, you know, <laughs> Tom Selleck was like a tall, masculine dude, right? Like he was you, not. You look like you look like your armpits smell a little bit like Tom Yum sauce. <laughs> Tom Selleck. I got to look that up because I don't know who that is. OK, so whoever he's talking to is like at least in their 30s, doesn't know who Tom Selleck is. If anybody doesn't know who Tom Selleck is, they're obviously too young to date. Brett, get off the call. Go back to your wife. 
Magnum PU. <laughs> Reckless. Yes, that's ridiculous. Toyota Celica situation. Here's uh, some cringe from Sturgis, I guess. The bastion of conservative gaming, the bastion of keeping the wokes mad is Stellar Blade right now. Stellar Blade is the game of the game of the year because there's a shiny titty and a and a almost a medium ass. It's not what? A shiny titty. Even a great ass. It's a medium ass. It's not even that it big. It is a medium ass. The Bastion. Hmm. What is it? By the way, the other day I tuned into Sturge's podcast and his buddy here was like uh, congratulating him from for taking down DP from the inside. What? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. How did he do that? I don't know. Where is it? it, it, it Where it, is it? it, it, it. It's you wanted to come on the get. show. How can you get it's inside? It's ass you can never get. Where is it? It's ass you, you could you never get. You're talking to a Melissa McConte. A That's chick that God. literally oh. has all men are evil on her left butt cheek. Talking about mid act. How did you know what's on her butt cheeks? you you literally talking to a chick with a mid ass right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, but what we do don't you play talk? video games because of the mid asses we play video games because those blocks fit into the other blocks and then all four lines disappear okay play Tetris. your fat ass couldn't even score a chick that looked like that you put that Whoa. you put that chick you put put that that chick the actual model next to your fat ass you yo fat dude look at, look dude. at sturgis's hood come out he's with his black friend so he starts to yeah. talk like this it's ridiculous yeah. And he was like, so I'm cute. from the hood, bud. She wouldn't even, fuck she wouldn't even look your fucking way, bro. She wouldn't Not even he, look your fucking way. Even in the slightest, Damn it. would she look your fucking way. It's so cringy. It is, who allowed, like, really hard. Who allowed Sturgis to talk this way in front of his black friend? Stop it. Like, this is, this is the, like, bro, like, <laughs> how is this conservative? So, this is stupid, so... Have, having a, an attractive woman in the the point itself, having an attractive woman in a game is conservative. That doesn't make any fucking sense. I work with strippers. Does that make Justin me? Timberlake? He's about to be like, I work with strippers. The conservative. I the conservative wanna, hate I just, the, the. I mean, <sighs> judging the, by the fact that he's wearing pink headphones, he's a fucking fruit. So whoa, you <laughs> said it, not me. I don't. I don't. You I said it, color not headphones me. I was wearing. He's a fucking fruit. I'm sorry. He, since when fruit. was since when was Stellar Blade conservative? But like I said, peep the language, y'all. They do this all the time. They they've been tripping about Stellar Blade for the longest. Stellar Blade, the the Eve from Stellar Blade is a shapely woman. Okay, no shit, she doesn't have a big ass, but it's not. It's shapely. It's nice. It's good to look at. Nice. It's better than what we've been getting in gaming recently. Like I said, you, you notice a pattern here. Yeah. Imagine it's giving a fuck what the body looks like in a video game. I you can literally care. go anywhere for pornography. You can you can actually go out in the real world and date a beautiful woman if you're so inclined. You don't need hot women in video games. You literally just need the blocks to fit next to the other blocks so the four lines disappear. That's all you need. Who is these fat motherfuckers that want to talk about incel and fucking... Oh, it is this chick's mid. It's always some ugly motherfucker or some fat motherfucker. Oh, motherfucker. You just Dude, called her why, mid. Why are you talking like this? Motherfucker. He just Out. called Alyssa Mercante mid. I hear being like, oh, her, well, her ass is mid. You notice the you know the person you're talking to literally said like uh, well not literally I was, I'm gonna paraphrase what she said. She said at least she said at least when a, when I was fucked by men I was getting paid for. It. Yeah, that's literally a paraphrase of a tweet that that chick right there made. Okay, talking about she will go back to sex work. Okay, she needs to stay the taco I'm, job didn't work out. She need to stay out. 
Because those are the type of sex workers I hate. I'm not trying to be funny. Those are the types. Okay, so you're okay with some of them? Funny. I those are the type I, of sex workers I hate. The sex workers I like are the ones that shit on you. I wouldn't dare. Like if I'm if I work with her at a club, she's getting walked right by. Like if she don't, I I, I would be petty as fuck. She would got ten seconds to get on stage when I call her. Oh, he's that kind of DJ. He's like, give it up, everyone, for cinnamon. Like that. I wonder kind if he of... actually even has a good DJ voice. And if he doesn't, then we know he works at a shitty strip club. The fact that the girls aren't ready to get on stage means he's not a very good DJ. If she don't get on the stage in nine and a half seconds, I'm get I'm calling it. Uh, she's getting a skip. That's it. I'm skipping her. Okay. Th- that, why? Because the next girl's not going to be able to get up and any quicker. You're bullshitting right now. You're full of it. The next girl is expecting to go up three minutes later. You're going to expect her to get there in 20 seconds when she's waiting, who thinks she's going to be up in three. There's t- it's a 10 minute rotation, usually three songs. Oh my God. I'm so I'm debunking strip clubs right now. You got me on my strip club skepticism right now. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid! This is retarded. How was that conservative? Remember, she, how was liking it? How was having an attractive woman in your video game conservative? She's not even, not even completely like. If she was conservative, she would be covered up more. <clears throat> the woman's got a bodysuit on. I kind of want to play like a video game where the main woman is like in a full, like. Um, what do they call those uh, Middle Eastern garb? With the, hijab. You can see the eyes. Yeah, full hijab. That'd be a great game. Give me like a hijab heroine. The chick a burka, shows her ass a lot. A burka badass. Twitter. I don't, and I'm not looking at it. You And you can tell by how she's sitting there just smiling like she's just sitting there straight so that way you can see the cleavage. Like, I don't care about your whack-ass call of wannabe make, knockoff Call of Duty shirt. I, I don't care. You wearing your ethos shirt trying to get a, you know attention. Oh, she said Call of Daddy. That's, that's a play on Call of Duty. I like her. She must be a gamer. I know a... Bro. I bro, had a conversation got, I have a conversation with an actual girl that does e-girl shit that's actually way more attractive. Shout out to Blazia. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, wait, he's wait. now shouting out an e-girl he talked to, guys. He he's talked now shouting to. Out, guys, I've actually had a conversation with a more attractive e-girl. Shout out simp name now. Yeah. Wow. By the Everybody way, says this, call Assassin's Creed. I should play Assassin's Creed. This is the same chick. This is the same chick that got butthurt. That Grums made an April Fool's joke. Of like a card that says they're getting married, and she was telling her fan base to report him for putting that out. <laughs> can't take jokes, but your life is one. Bro. How you can't take jokes? I'm not gonna defend life- this woman from not taking jokes. If she did that, then you know what? Maybe maybe Sturgis is a better human being than her, and him and his weird friend can totally dunk on her. It's one big joke. I. <laughs> I gotta find that shit, oh, bro. I'm over this shit, bro. Like I'm over it, bro. Oh wow! <laughs> Senior editor, wow! Everyone's invited, bro. The picture that he picked too was funny as hell. <laughs> Yo, but the, those are the same oh, pictures. To that, dog. That's what you gotta wake up to every morning, dog. <laughs> And Gross, Gross is crazy. He's an I'll fix her and talk her down from that next hit piece. I actually, actually talked to a hotter e girl than her. <laughs> I actually had a conversation yeah, with gonna, a hotter e girl. Um, Shout out Blasia. She was gonna, she Fucking was gonna do two hit pieces: one simple. on uh, one on Melanie Mac and one on Asmund Gold. Interesting. The Melanie Mac and Asmund Gold hit piece. That's two different sides. Asmund Gold's kind of a protected boy. Sturgis is so stupid I can't believe he's an actual grown adult grown adult. He almost makes Jared look smart and he's a fucking idiot. Some please pretend to be a fan of his for several months and then convince him into going on DP Live. 
DP live. Jared, Jared definitely is smarter than Sturgis. But, uh, uh, they're both in some ways, stupid. in some ways, in some ways, like Jared is more articulate than Sturgis easily. Uh, Jared actually has ideas. Sturgis doesn't even have ideas. But Jared's Sturgis can like dumb. have Sturgis can like probably like balance a bank account and like work a job and like pay rent and like have his own place and that kind of shit. Uh, yeah, but that's that's like the society is set up for the dumbest fucking people to be able nah, to do that. Not all, not all. The dumbest. Yeah, of people course, Jared. Can. J- Jared's not dumb because he doesn't do that. He probably has some sort of issue that makes him a uh, fucking loser. I don't know if it's an intelligence thing that he doesn't do it. It is. It's like th- there's different types of intelligence. Um, speaking of. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> uh, Nick Fuentes and his buddies check out this weird stream where uh, what's his face uh, Dalton piss whistle uh, and his buddies like get mad about Indian people right what if you woke up in your house but you were just like Indian like you like Indian that, might right? be worse no I'd, yeah, yeah. I'd, no honestly okay I was wanting to talk to you guys about this I have seen every day countless videos of Indians eating shit, pissing in their food. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've seen violent. I've Called seen seasoning. them fucking like literally throwing poop in their house. And now I unironically, I used to say it joking around. I, I think mean I might this. be Indian. I have never been more racist to any group of people than Indians. <laughs> I hate them. I genuinely, I don't hate them, but I have, have a serious fucking problem with them. I look on the busting a nut on the Patreon ten dollar patron. Welcome Thank to the you Patreon. So much. If you busting notice, a nut. if you notice, they're all on Rumble now instead of Cozy, like the Cozy yeah. bubble burst. Now in everyday life with yeah. absolute fucking disgust, no doubt. I don't even. I black people. It's like I get. I feel a little unsafe around sometimes. You know, depending on the circumstance. Indians, I absolutely like get a visceral feeling in my gut about Indians and whatever the fuck they're doing. I just want to let all you guys know that Ryby has eyes and ears everywhere and she's fully aware of not only what we just said about her, but what all of you in chat were saying. Yeah, sickos. I, she, I, exists, she she knows. It was, it was it was put out there. I don't know. I don't know. Like it gets to her She's grown to a higher level of authority above all of us, and now she's already figured it out. So we're in trouble, guys. I don't want to be served food by an Indian. I don't want them to touch me. I don't want anything like that. So yeah, I know bro. that's really racist, but it's just it's just how I feel. No, that's gross, man. They, they suck because, because I love curry. Very gross way. I remember, the, like, when I saw Dune, there was, like, I don't know if you saw this, Tyler, that trailer for that Monkey Man movie where it's, like, the rich Indians are really mean to all the poor Indians, and I'm going to go kill the rich Indians. I don't think it played before Dune, but I think I know what you're talking I think I saw a trailer for that on, like, YouTube or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I, either way, I was like, no, I get why the rich Indians are mean to the poor Indians, dude, because these people literally, like, pee in their own food or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's like, they're animals, dude. Like, yeah. Crazy. Oh, you guys made me throw up. Those people pee in their own fed. I, 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 um, I think it's because I've interacted with one post. So there's this account on Twitter, and I recommend not going to it because you're just gonna get nauseous. It's Crime Reports India or something, and I think it's ran by a Muslim guy. Muslims are so funny because they, when they talk they about hate, Indians, they hate Indians, dude. They, <laughs> they're no, hold on, there are Muslim Indians. Uh, there there are Muslim Indians, and then there's Pakistanis who were basically part of India, but they were like Muslim, so they yeah. Whenever yeah. you start to break up different groups, you can pretty much say any group hates any other group. That's group mentality um, almost across the board. Right. They hate them. You're very rarely are you like you know Christians really really love Scientologists. Doesn't really happen. So they'll be in like broken English. There's been Christians fighting other Christians over different forms of Christianity for hundreds yeah. of years. They'll like tweet this thing out. Pajit poos in his own food. 
or like something like <laughs> it'll be like Pajit. It's every tweet is Pajit. It's like an awesome. I mean, it's really well, disgusting, but well, and you see all those like. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen this too. That's like all like all these like stories now coming out of India. And it's like some white girls like I want to travel to India, and then it's like yeah by like eight dudes yeah you know? and her husband had to watch i saw that one just recently. <laughs> yeah like, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah that sucked that's brutal, that sucked you yeah. hear about that couple that were motorcycling through india yeah but of course they, these guys are going to use that as like a racist device as a device to be like well look at what the browns do when the whites enter their country that's what they're doing here it's not good. Right. Lady, um, that lady that it came out most recently went to Afghanistan, Iran. I she saw to, that. Yeah. Yeah. Like every other place. And then India, she got, they went to go hang with the Taliban and the Taliban were chill. I know. <laughs> oh my God. So it's like, oh, you also don't like Jews. So we're going to ally with you. The Taliban. Like we're, we're cool with you. They pose with them with like, their guns and yeah. fucking body armor and shit. Yeah. Crazy, dude. Goes yeah, to crazy. India and your life's over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. who, who would win, the Taliban or a gang of horny Indian men? You know, <laughs> <laughs> depends on what the fight parameter was. The Taliban would just have to dress up one of their bombs as a sex doll, and they could take out a whole squad of horny Indian dudes. I'll be right back. Open bobs and vagine. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Big Face Billy again, again, again. If you got what I want, give me some of that, a.k.a. chat. You say it, I spray it. Hmm. Do they know India is not in the Middle East? What they were saying was that the woman and her husband traveled through those places in the Middle East, and they were fine. But when they traveled to India, they unfortunately got followed out and they were sleeping in a tent outside of a city and uh the woman was full on uh full on assaulted her husband was also beaten and had to watch as they got attacked and you know bad stuff happens all over the world so you can't be like it's an india problem but um it definitely sucked to hear it's not a good thing Reverend Veritas, would you transfer your mind into a robot body? And if so, what type of body? Um, I would want to have I would want to have a similar build to myself, but since it's a robot and it doesn't store fat, I think it'd be cool if my belly was like a uh, a smoker, so I could smoke meats inside of my round robot body, and then serve people delicious briskets all day long. It also, would give me a connection to my flesh. Uh, I would assume my brain would miss flesh at a certain point, you know. So knowing that I was not only having flesh cooking me, but also nourishing other living entities with my meat belly, like my smoker belly, that'd be pretty sweet. Like, can you speak dolphin to discourage violence? Uh, I, I'm not fluent in dolphin, so I think I, I would probably just end up rowling them up with my attempts. So I think it's better I don't get in on this. Siki so says, is it billy meats or other animal meats we put in the billy belly? I would say other animal meats. I don't think my meats would last that long. Hopefully the benefit of being a robot would be I'd be around for a long time. And hopefully we wouldn't stop eating meat because I would hate to just be a fucking corn smoker. I'm sitting there roasting corn in my belly all the time. That would kind of suck. But I guess if you're a vegan, you could have corn belly. Corn belly. Yeah. It's almost it like pork how the belly. Goes. Oh, man. I had some pork belly and some ramen the other day. It was tasty. In the ramen? Yeah, it was yeah. a little pork belly added to the ramen. I think it was added to the ramen. You know I don't like the eggs, so I have to tell them, please don't put the egg in the ramen. I do like the eggs. I was very Most happy people do. That's why they... They put it in there by default, usually. The ramen spot near my house does low-sodium broth, so I was like, let's go. Let's do a little ramen. Hmm. I like those little jeweled eggs with the runny yolk inside. You slice it open with the chopstick and let it kind of sit and marinate in the broth. It sounds so gross to me. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's a tasty treat. Dogfish me... was going to make a sodium joke. Please, please don't don't make sodium jokes. Best sodium joke tonight gets a shout out on the show, by the way. I'm going to show you an interview with two of the most insufferable people on earth. Oh, shit. Like the interviewer Somebody... is insufferable and the interviewee is insufferable. Okay. What up, guys? Welcome to the Just Pearly Things YouTube channel and welcome to the So sit far, down. you're delivering? Before I start, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and ring is that it notification Melanie Mack? bell. The way you're going to be notified of my daily videos. Like the video on your way in and leave a comment and let me know what your thoughts are. Today, I have a special guest. Nick Fuentes. Oh, hi, hi. welcome to the welcome to the show. Yeah, great to be this here. This podcast called me. The Unfuckables. Mm -hmm. No, at the end they fuck each other. So I looked okay. you up on Google. Okay, mm. so um, he is a political commentator with over twenty five thousand followers on his own site, Cozy TV. You is she pretending to not know who he is? I looked you up. It's like, yeah, you know who he is. That's why you invited him on, right? Yeah, well, yeah. Have been banned on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, um, Instagram, Facebook, Reddit, <laughs> and TikTok. Your Wikipedia page describes you as a right-wing extremist um, who denies the Holocaust, is on the no-fly list, and supports Putin. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> He's on the no-fly list maybe because he'd refused to wear a freaking mask when it was mandatory time. <laughs> uh, so welcome to the show. So what what did you do to get this crazy this crazy reputation? Well, you know, a lot of those things are well, true. They are true. You know, I was a weenie that talked bad about Jewish people. Some of them, do you, you and some more than Putin? others. I do support Putin. Yeah, that's. Oh, is it? That's actually an understatement, probably. What What do you mean? Because I mean, I really support. I support Putin. I support the war. I support Russia in the war. R wow. wow. Why do you is... not? Are you? I mean, I don't know. I just thought he wasn't. Good. She's I mean, shit, look, by I'm, the way. I'm an outsider in the foreign policy stuff. I don't. I don't know the ins and outs. You mm -hmm. know. I'm just on the outside looking in, hmm. but you know, um, why don't we, why don't we start away from the politics? Okay. We'll, yeah. we'll get into it. We'll get into <laughs> it. Where are you from originally? I'm from Chicago. Okay. Okay. The suburbs city, the West suburbs. Yeah. Okay. So fake Chicago. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're a little bit more <laughs> fake than me, but yeah, I guess so. My parents are from the city, so I, mm -hmm. it's genetic, I guess. Okay. And do you, do you have siblings? Yeah. I have a twin sister. Okay. And how, who, how by you... the way, might be a lesbian. Yeah. Family feel about you doing a political commentating. Are they conservative too? Yeah, they're conservative. They're not as conservative as me, but they're very supportive. They're not Nazis, but they kind of are because they still support you. <laughs> if, you my know, family aren't Nazis. That's kind of bad. Also, my mom wanted to make me eat a fucking microwave pizza one night. She wouldn't cook for me. That kind of sucked. Also, I'm a bit of a weenie. Nobody, nobody respects me. Boomers, so they have this... Uh... We'll support you no matter what you do, that kind of thing. It's funny, though, because when I was growing up, that was the attitude, and I think they meant more like, you know, you could be an artist, not like a far-right extremist. You know? I'm thinking his parents aren't boomers and that they're Gen Xers, like in reality. Oh. So, uh, so yeah, they're, they don't necessarily support everything I say, but they support me as their son. Mm -hmm. So when, when did this start? So, like, where where did your career start? You, I know you worked for the Daily Wire at one point. Was that the beginning? Almost. Yeah, I, I knew a lot of the people there. I work with them. This was six years I ago. I almost worked for the Daily Wire, but it turns out it's ran by one of those. I went to school in Boston, and I linked up with this girl, Cassie Dillon. Cassie Dill. She was an early conservative YouTuber. Uh, he said Cassie Dillon. Her... Her name on YouTube was Cassie Dill, and I remember there were all these YouTube feuds with her. Like TJ had one with her. Thank you. Seth looks coming. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Old goal. Hundred more to the new goal, baby. He was working with them at the time. She was 
she was a fellow there, so she wasn't actually an employee. I guess she was kind of like a glorified intern. And so, is she a YouTuber now? Should I know her? No, she's not really relevant. Oh, but she uh, was. She was just an activist. She was a journalist. Okay. She she was responsible for some viral videos during that whole SJW Gamergate thing mm-hmm. that was going on back in 2016. And so she had a show on Right Side Broadcasting Network. They're the people. They used to stream all the Trump rallies. Mm-hmm. They're really big on Rumble now. And so they brought on a bunch of people after the election to do shows. Mm-hmm. And they brought her on, and I met her, and we got to know each other. And so she got me a show there, and so I started doing a show every night, and uh, well, I, I never stopped. So that's what I still do today, but independently now. Okay, so wait, so who who did you say it was before? Before, it was Right Side Broadcasting. Okay, and what happened with that? Why did you stop? Well, I got fired slash quit because of, I went to the Charlottesville. I figure it is my favorite First 102 minutes of my life. Ah, there we go. Rally, you know Charlottesville? You went to the Char- Charlottesville rally? White mm-hmm. power. Why? Hey, hey, well, hey. You know, you know, can't just be donating $6 to say that. I'm going to compromise our morals. I get at least a 20 Who did I bring on? Okay, well, you know, look, like, so in fair, look, I'm not going to throw them under the bus, but in fairness, it wasn't, it wasn't quite what I thought it was going to be. Okay, wait, okay, so you, at 18, mm-hmm. is that when, roughly when you started? I was 17. 17, okay. You start streaming. Or, no, I was 18, yeah. You start streaming with this media company, mm-hmm. and then how long did you stream for them? Uh, about six months. Oh, that's it? Mm-hmm. Was it that long ago? Yeah, February wow. 2017 to August. And then you went to the Charlottesville. Why did you go to that? So initially, people had reached out to me in May 2017, and they said, hey, do you want to speak at this rally? And they told me who was going to be there, and it was all these alt-right types. And, and you, you know, you put alt right. They're not actually alt right. You just said the quotes. Well, because people's understand it. People would consider me alt right. Okay. But are if, you not? You're not alt right. I'm not. Okay. Um, I just no, don't a, like the gems. And I'm, I'm gay. not alt right. Not to say that I'm not yeah, like a far he's right confused. person because I am. <laughs> but, so who is alt right? Well, it's guys like Richard Spencer and Mike Enoch who's, and those. Who's that for the average guys I like to be in a hot tub with? I don't know who that is. <laughs> there are all these guys from like really they were more prominent like seven years ago, mm-hmm. six seven years ago, and they were. So if they're they not prominent, of, and you are far right, 
You are the new alt right. Yeah. You can't just say back in time, oh, I'm not alt right. It's these guys that used to be popular before I was popular. No, like if the they're fun. not prominent, you're the alt right now, dude. All right, fringe during the Trump election. Mm-hmm. But the disagreements I had with them were they're not Christian, you know, they're atheist. Mm-hmm. And they had all these other kinds of views about. Uh, A lot of them were Christian. I don't know what he's talking about. Um, like basically, they were <laughs> racist liberals. That, that's what we like. A lot of the Christians in the second. far right He's scene, describing. Would... <laughs> I will say though that Richard Spencer didn't vote for Trump the second time and did vote for Biden, which doesn't matter. You can't not vote for someone based on the worst people voting for them. But Biden does have a better history of racist. It's voting. It's true. It is true. It is true. But that doesn't mean he's doing it now. But yes, uh, I mean, like, I, uh, I mean, Trump went pretty far, though. He was like, if you're from this country, you can't fly here, too. I mean, yeah, that's he, a pretty big policy right there. He said some he said some pretty <clears throat> racist stuff. He did. He put he put that into place during covid, right? Or no, was before that? covid. Before COVID, oh, damn. yeah, he put a, what he called a Muslim travel ban, and it blocks oh. it blocks certain countries. But then, like, uh, you know, the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia, they could still fly here. The rich Arab countries, but he, yeah, he, yeah so he did do that like He's early like, into if, his presidency. <laughs> If I'm borrowing money from your royals, you can still fly here. You basically, <laughs> yeah pejoratively say you're just a a racist liberal you know because they were liberal about women they were liberal about everything what do you what do you mean when you say they were liberal about women and everything like they were feminists like they believed in equal rights and they thought that women should work and they believed that Mm -hmm. women should participate in politics as one example Mm -hmm. they were in favor of abortion Mm -hmm. uh but by the way by uh just pearly things which is the woman conducting this interview By her own beliefs, she shouldn't even be hosting an interview right now because the woman's role is to not, like, lead anything. She she holds so many contradictory beliefs where, like, her role in the world wouldn't even exist right now. Yeah, that's most of these people. They're all in it for the grift. They're all telling you one thing and doing exactly the opposite. The red pill community is full of a bunch of just low-level sick people that are really grifting off of a hurting community. I, just- I think the I think the most sincere person in the red pill community is Andrew Tate and he's oh god uh, trafficking. And he's trafficking. <laughs> uh, happen to be in favor of a, a white country, having a white country. So they were oh. racist liberals. Oh, I, I didn't. Okay. So you're saying they were feminists because they believed in equal rights. Yeah. But at the same time, they also believed in a white country. So it's like they, they would actually be accurately white supremacists. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, okay. but but ideologically they were. The state of Oregon was originally founded as a whites only state, and there yeah, were like you go to- there were several huge prominent Klan rallies, like huge like government sanctioned Klan rallies held in the like the fifties in Oregon. Like Oregon was the the this weird racist. Enclave in the Northwest, which was like mostly unsettled in the continental United States, which is weird because now they they still are mostly white. It's some of the white like Portland's one of the whitest cities in America uh, per capita. So like but when you go it also has the most strippers per capita. Yes, that's true. But when you go to Oregon, like they they don't tolerate racism at all. Like it, it is not. Yeah. It is not Trust tolerated. Me, I tried. Yeah. I tried. <laughs> yeah, they even put your they even put your symbol on all the garbage cans there to let everyone know you're garbage there. There's donuts painted on all these fucking garbage cans in Portland. Delicious. And, and I tell you, that's the only reason I I lost my drinking contest with Michigan Ben that night. I was distracted. <laughs> 
That was the night that you puked all I, over you the know hotel what? Actually, room. I don't think I I don't think I lost. I walked away having been okay. Yeah, no, he was trying to fucking kill you too. He was just giving you the most alcohol ever. <laughs> he was like, he was like, well, well, like the bar was supposed to close like two hours before okay. too. Yeah, he was like, he was so like, I can't so close tell this everyone, bar. like a lot of these people, they probably haven't heard this, and you're you remember all of it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So we're at this bar in uh, Oregon. We have a nice hotel room up the road. Uh, We go in. The bartender's name is Ben. And he's Ben from Michigan. Yep. And and our Ben obviously is from Ohio. Everybody knows Ben Pye is not a fan of Michigan. That's drunken peasants lore. So Michigan Ben, he was behind the bar. Ohio Ben, our Ben, was sitting at the bar, and Michigan Ben made it his mission to just serve Ben until Ben puked. And he stayed, he kept the bar open two hours after closing. Because <laughs> he's like, he's like, who's gonna fucking stop me, dude? He's like, this is nobody's gonna come in and I stop me. I think he me. said he was homeless and like sleeping on his friend's couch or something. Yeah, he was like, I got nowhere to go. I'm gonna get Ben wasted. <laughs> and he kept serving you drinks. And by the way, when we came in, the guy was uh purposefully playing R. R. Kelly. Kelly. Yep. He was purposely playing R. Kelly because R. Kelly was recently charged. And by the way, (laughs) I drank all of it and walked away that night like, okay. But in the middle of the night when I'm sleeping... Was you not the- spouted <laughs> all over this hotel. Very nice hotel room. I, my buddy had to go to the store and buy cleaning supplies because <laughs> he, he was, yeah, he was like, he was like, yeah, I don't want to get charged for this. <laughs> I don't blame him. And that was when we cleaned up a pukey bin. Yeah, I woke up. I think you and me were sharing a bed. Even yeah, and I like yeah. rolled over. It was just like, Rah! like <laughs> yeah, yeah. The world of my dreams was spinning too hard. You know, yeah. Michigan Ben did not win in the bar. He didn't he win no in idea. the bar. Yes, he has I, no I can't idea give... that Ohio puked. Yeah, I. Well, I I thought I had won too. I tried to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, you were. You made it back. You're like, I'm ready to sleep now. Yeah. And then, and then in the middle of the night, it was exorcist. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Those are the days. Or anyway. liberal. Remember they just when don't... we shared a fucking uh, hotel room with Pimp Monk? And Barbara? Yeah, Pimp Monk was... Uh, and like, you guys were farting. <laughs> like I was teasing him, and he farted right into the air conditioner. <laughs> and Barbara was sleeping on the floor, and I swear, she almost killed herself. Yep. <laughs> from catching a, a King Beard X level fucking Hadouken yes. fart into the air conditioner. Hadouken! And he, Pimp Monk wasn't sleeping in the bed. There was, like, <laughs> there was room. I was like, You want to sleep in the bed with me, Pimp? You can nope. sleep in the he bed with me. He slept in a chair, and he like dug the back of the chair into the wall. Yeah. And there was like a he, like, groove. He leaned back in the chair against the wall and just had this perfect groove cut out <laughs> from the head of the chair. My man was not going to sleep in the bed with me. I wasn't going to diddle him or nothing, but I understand. And we had worry. Barbara on the floor, and like our, she said we were farting all night. I probably was. Yeah. Yeah, we had we had a perfectly <laughs> lovely young woman named Barbara in the room with us and we were farting and snoring. Could you imagine that? Like she's Oh yeah, my no, god. Yeah, no, I was probably snoring like crazy. Oh, we all were shitting his pants dude, into the dude, fucking Dude. Pimunk was I, I know snoring that in the I, air conditioner. I know that I snore, especially when I'm drunk. And I know yeah. I was drunk like every day at this shit. So like, and I would wake up and I hear everyone snoring and I'm like, fuck, we are, we're all snoring. Like, ridiculous. Those of you in chat that says that it was Chris Chan's Barbara, so No, what? no, no, no. Just because Barbie Chan wanted to sleep on the floor and suck pimp monk farts all night doesn't mean anything. No, it's uh let's see. Here we go. It it's 
this Barbara right here. This Barbara. Barbara, for you to see. She's been yeah. a guest on Drunk Pensions many times. Yeah. Reason Friend of the show. One why you should never visit Slovenia. If you do not like. She's from the same country Melania Trump is from. Or anything shrubbery related. She's the second most famous Slovenian woman in the West. Nearly 60% of Slovenia is covered in forests. In Europe, only I don't even know Finland, what this is. Estonia, and Latvia have a higher percentage of trees than Slovenia. Which means that everywhere you will look, there will be. Everywhere you will look. You can leave now. She was probably a Slovenian undercover Slovenia agent. Are beekeepers. Also that's no, that's be, Nick Fuentes. Yep, back to Nick. Uh, racial realist is a term that was very popular back then. Mm -hmm. um, and so anyway, so so I saw the list there. That's the reason I put it in scare quotes, because people would call me that. And I understand the differences are very granular, and most people wouldn't really understand that because they're not into it like that. But um, I never consider myself that. So I took it. I took a look at the list, which was like David Duke and Spencer and these types, and I said, "Yeah, not really interested." And then August rolled around, and it was a week before the rally, and I heard that all these other people are going to be there. I heard that Faith Goldie was going to be there. It was a friend of mine, Gavin McInnes, Sam Hyde, and these were more like mainstream figures and people who I liked. So I said, all right, you know, I'll, I'll take the trip out Nick, there. And uh, you drop that name, oh, dude. You, you know, might want to pick it back up. <laughs> then, then, no, then. I don't even remember. So what, what happened? Someone died, didn't it? Yeah, this woman died, and... Uh, there's a lot. It's very contentious what exactly happened there oh, because there was a shooting. What? Yeah, that's what it No, died. she got ran over by a car. Oh, okay, it's a charge. Oh yeah, shooting. I remember that. Yeah, On here. It sucks. Okay, she got ran over by a car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a guy from Toledo murdered her. A guy from Toledo mm -hmm. ran her over with uh, his Dodge Charger. And that was who ran. What her is over? up with guys from Toledo with Dodge Chargers slaying women? <laughs> there you go. This guy who was with this group called Vanguard America, which okay. if you've heard of Patriot Front, maybe not. They're, they did a lot of these viral rallies recently, and they're a splinter group from this group called Vanguard America. And Vanguard versus Black Hate. I'm white as fuck, and I feel closer to black people than white privilege. White guilt for life. Well, black guilt for life! I will say Michigan Ben had black teeth. Oh, he had some fucked up teeth, dude. <laughs> Like you, you could tell he was he was not going to give up easily. Cause he, I didn't he give up either. Give, I was not going to give up. Yeah, I was, yeah. I probably killed like half my liver that night. <laughs> I don't know. You've done a lot of drinking in your life. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that was half. It was a good percentage, though. I bet you it was a nice. They nice were like four percent of your this, liver. He was like this. This drink is a mind eraser, and I was like, "Fuck you." <laughs> like, yeah i just kept being like fuck you man he's yeah, like he was oh. making they he was it, making the worst by the drinks way and you they were, were all them. free all of the drinks yeah. were free yeah he was just trying to fuck ben up. <laughs> art america that's who's throwing the it event. was like when ben stein's Puking. Drink puking? <laughs> no, they were like a participant. Oh, they were one of the participants. Yeah, because the rally was technically called Unite the Right. Okay. Hence the idea was to bring everybody together. From but like the right. a, a lot of like unfortunate people showed up okay. who like nobody really likes mm -hmm. and ruined it for everybody. That was the one Brittany like, Venti was at with him, right? Is that where she got arrested with her boobs? I, I think that was a different time. Oh. I'm thinking of the Tiki Torch march that she was at with him. Yeah. Who? Like uh, like the National Socialist Movement and uh, I just remember like she tried to get arrested and she, like her she wore a shirt where like her boobs were just like ridiculous and there's the pictures of her like clip. with her hands cuffed behind her back with like the stupid like boob shirt on yeah and Vanguard America and, and these it's types. hard to get arrested when you have booba no 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 it wasn't hard for her she got arrested pretty easily um. And so now, for the record, I wasn't there at the Tiki Torch thing. That's like the famous mm -hmm. picture is mm -hmm. people with the Tiki Torches. I wasn't there for that. I got there that that was the, the tiki morning torch after. Thing, yeah. That was the Friday night. Saturday morning was the actual rally. And the purpose of the rally was they were going to rename. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. Here's like Brittany Venti getting arrested. They even like covered her. 
Yeah, they were like, too much booba. Wear this too Harry Potter fucking school booba. jacket. Yeah. The park. Mm -hmm. It was Robert E. Lee Park, and there was a Robert E. Lee statue. We're just going through every girl that's ever been a guest on Drunken Peasants tonight, aren't we? She we has been. She Ryby, has been. We brought up Barbara. We've brought up uh, Brittany now. Do I need to put next Casey next. Tron on uh, Mercedes Carrera is coming Tron. next? Gonna... Whatever Mercedes happened to Carrera. Mercedes Carrera, by the way? What a you sweetheart. You know, I, th I heard she was kidding around. At UVA, and so they were going to take down the statue, rename the park. And so the protests that converged in Charlottesville Janie. typically were about that. Mm -hmm. So I was there. Janie Bell. I Janie heard she's Bell. a sicko. To protest the Dude. changing of the name. I still, I still feel bad for making her cry on the show. You didn't seem to feel bad about it. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I felt bad that uh, she didn't listen to my advice. Because if she would have just listened to my advice, one, she wouldn't have cried. She wouldn't have made me force my hand. And two, she'd be living a happier life. She would. Well, she moved to L.A. That's why her life isn't happy. Um, uh, L.A. is for sad people. If you want to be happy... Go to San Diego. Doug to Naples says it's the best city. Also, it was about bringing the right wing together. Mm -hmm. And so I went there for those reasons and for those people. And then it turned into this big, ugly disaster, mm -hmm. you know, because Antifa showed up and there was this big clash. But but it was a really bad look for everybody. So RSBN fired me. Oh, uh, and so they fired you because you were there, even if you, you explained why you were there. Yeah. and And here's the thing. I mean. And this is not me, like, downplaying it. Mm -hmm. This is just me saying what happened. Mm -hmm. I was there for, like, two hours. Like, there was a Tiki Torch thing on Friday. I got there Saturday morning. By the time I left my hotel, the actual rally had already been dispersed by the cops. Because the, the rally goers were fighting with Antifa. Mm -hmm. There was so much violence, the cops just shut it down. So I left my hotel, and it was basically over by the time I got there. So go I really didn't even participate. Bathroom. Yeah, do your thing. Do your thing. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for helping us meet our weekly goal. If you want to be so kind as to help us meet next week's goal, everything you give from this moment forward will go towards next week's goal. We're, we're very close. We're, we're not going to go too much later tonight, maybe a little bit longer, uh, and then we'll call it a night. Please listen to... The audio version of the show, we do a pre-show, we do the main show, and we also have Word Vomit by Billy the Fridge, which is his 30-minute uh, mini podcast that's also available through our audio version. And you can catch that. Uh, we have a link to that right in the description. Uh, fuck, where? Oh, last night's pre-show is where you can catch our audio feed. I'll put it in the chat right now or maybe i won't holy shit where is it there it is There we go. Boom. There it is right there. Please bookmark that link. Otherwise, uh, go to your favorite audio podcast platform. Search up DP. You can catch all the extra free content over there. Got to do something outside of YouTube. YouTube is unstable. They make snap decisions. Oh, uh, yeah, there's extra free content. Use that link right there in the chat. Click on it, bookmark it. Go there. There's extra stuff. There's all the regular episodes, and then anything that has a B next to it is extra. Billy's like no doubt taking a giant dump in in his toilet right now, and it is more than happy to receive it. 
He took a uh, a CBD bath once in my bathtub here. By the way, if you guys haven't noticed, since like August, Billy has not been in the studio for most of these shows. And we'd like to see that happen more. But the thing is, is that we need more support on Patreon. We'd like to see the Patreon to grow back to its former glory. So if you would all be so kind as to check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash DP, even at the $5 level, if a bunch of you sign up, it would help us all out tremendously to kind of get us rolling back on our old schedule. If you'd be so kind to do so. Or not. I don't know. We got two amazing private shows coming up. This month on Patreon.com slash DP. And then once a month, we're going to start uh, doing the post show. So we got a post show coming up uh, scheduled next week. We're going to start doing them once a week, plus other stuff. By the way, uh, if you want to help contribute anything, I'd recommend Patreon more than anything. Please join All right. Hey, I'll level with you guys. If we can get to 10%, I'll do a dance for everybody. I'll turn on the camera over here and do you want me to do a chimpanzee dance? I'll do my own personal chimp out dance for all of you. All we got to do is get to 10%. Is that so much? I doubt you guys have the balls. It, I can't do a truffle shuffle. I don't have enough jiggle. A dance, no fooling. Oh no, we're not doing OnlyFans. here for the only fans no no one's doing it no they're all cowards billy <laughs> oh no <laughs> <laughs> i made an empty promise but they're not brave enough to fill it so it's only empty if we don't close. get 56 more dollars hold on what no is this is this egghead uh, where is egghead is he out there listening watching lurking prowling he's probably going down memory lane with the uh Ribe videos being played tonight he's going down jerk off lane stormy lane <laughs> that's good um, oh Egghead. My oh my God! Come there's... out and play. Dylan DePickle knows about my OnlyFans. It's been up for years. But there's no nudity on it, right? Not yet. I'm waiting for someone to give me a uh, offer for butthole, virgin butthole. Some 
power in the world today Men have got to stand up strong Face the truth about themselves To understand what went wrong I know we can find a way I know we can find a way I know we can find a way Stand up It's amazing Stand up It's amazing Stand up I still haven't found Puff yet. I'm looking for him. Good guy. No, I don't wear diapers, to be quite honest with you. I actually free ball. Free ball. Like, it's pretty much like free ball, like 95 to 100% of the time. Free ball. Like, I pretty much like free ball because it feels so nice. You know what I'm saying? If I actually free ball, like, I pretty much like free ball, like, 95 to 100% of the time. Free ball. Like, I pretty much like free ball because it feels so nice. So nice! No, I don't wear diapers, to be quite honest with you. I don't wear underwear unless it's cold outside. I only wear underwear, to be quite honest, you know, to keep my balls warm. Like, I don't wear underwear, therefore, I don't wear diapers. No, I don't wear diapers, dude. Okay, you know what? I to be quite honest with you, I actually free ball. Therefore, like, I pretty much like I don't free ball, wear like, diapers, dude. to 100% of the time, free ball. Like, I pretty much like free ball, because it feels so nice. You know what I'm saying? If I actually free ball, like, it feels much so like free nice. ball, like 95 to 100 percent of the time. I don't wear underwear, therefore I don't wear diapers. Oh, I was hoping for like a big break in it, but that's I good. I don't wear underwear, therefore I don't wear diapers. Because it feels so nice. So nice. Because I'm free. Free ball. By the way, Dean Kane is ready to uh, uh, endorse a presidential candidate. Jeez, I, bet we I, were, I hope it's. We were all waiting. I hope it's actually Kane. We must find I hope it's puffers. Kane. What? We must find puffers, Ben. You have to do that dance now. <laughs> Are we big screening on the green couch dance? Yeah, hold on. Yeah. Because I'm free. Hold on. Free Bahalion. America loves The Rock. If you smell what The Rock is cooking. Hey, why do they get to use it but not me? Without a shot of a What the heck, the man? The greatest sports entertainer the world has ever seen. The wrestling superstar turned Hollywood frontman turned business mogul took Hollywood frontman. You mean leading man. front man? I think he means leading man. Definitely, definitely what he means. Yeah. Frontman is like a like a musical a thing. Yeah. Yeah. But by story. Yeah, Hollywood frontman would be like Jared Leto, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> People magazine named him the top reason to love America. Jesse Waters again or dog star. Not mad. Just pointing it out. The Rock earned the title of sexiest man alive. I know we all had someone else, I let it blow else in mind. When Dwayne Johnson speaks, people listen. And guess who he endorsed in 2020? So I figured let's kick this conversation off this way by me officially uh, publicly endorsing you both uh, to become president and vice president of our great country. Thanks, oh, Dwayne. that's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's means a great incredible. deal to us, for real. Okay. That's because Trump wouldn't work with him at WrestleMania. Yeah, they couldn't get in the ring. But four years later, The Rock, just like the rest of the country, has regrets. Am I happy with the state of America right now? Well, that answer is no. Do I believe we're going to get better? I, I believe in that. I'm an optimistic guy, and I, I believe we can get better. Um, 
The endorsement that I made uh, years ago with Biden was one I thought was the best decision for me at that time. Am I going to do that again this year? That answer is no. Is The Rock voting for Trump? <laughs> we don't know, but he's not endorsing anyone. That. This may have something to do with The Rock being on the board of directors for the UFC and WWE parent company. And since that audience is ultra MAGA, eh. Uh, or maybe it's he's not just ultra sick of MAGA. It. It's just bipartisan. Everybody loves wrestling. Come on. His buddy's busting his chops for the last four years for the worst endorsement ever. Actors like The Rock. Being a Democrat hurts you at the box office. Look at Tom Cruise. Stayed out of politics. That was a smart business decision. But when the media found out about The Rock on Fox News, sad. And now was his Sad. division. So a couple of questions. First of all, should, <laughs> should celebrities publicly endorse public figures? Taylor Swift, balls in your court. Taylor Swift's about Actor to D win the election for Biden if she endorses. She should just run on her own. She would Wait win a second. easily. You know how many people Did we have that have never... Uh, even voted before would vote for her you think she's old enough now is she 35 she'll be old enough by inauguration day and that's what matters let's go t swift for president yeah uh, so we had black adam weigh in now we're gonna have superman weigh in uh, fake fake ass superman tv's superman in <laughs> kane joins you didn't get billed as superman he got billed as clark by the way terry <laughs> Terry Hatcher was the star of that show, right? That's like, why her she name was... came first. It was Lois and Clark. Lois and Clark. It was like hot I chick didn't... and then like weird dude as Superman. I didn't watch that show for like four years because I thought it was Lewis and Clark. Huh? And I was like, I don't want to see I don't care about their exploration. Clark. Dean, you're almost as popular as The Rock. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's not. Are you going to be withholding He's... an endorsement? I never withhold an endorsement because I'm not that's that smart. Not Dean Kane, that's smarty. I'm, in, I'm endorsing President Trump 100%. Uh, no question about it. I'm, uh, first of all, I want to say I'm very glad you survived that horrific, awful earthquake this morning. Thank you. Um, Isn't his comic yeah. book drawn by the same guy that drew Isom, too? I think so. New York, for California, we wouldn't even get out of bed. We wouldn't even get out of bed. Thank you very, very much. Definitely climate change. Thank definitely climate change. <laughs> I would agree. So Rock is basically, what yep. is he, $20 million, $30 million a movie. Everybody wants him in the film. Everybody wants him on their show. He regrets the last endorsement. What significance do you see in the non-endorsement, unendorsement Rock situation? Well, I love The Rock like everybody else. He's fantastic. I want to congratulate my brother, Will Kane, on getting that interview. It's great. The Rock basically said this. Wait, Look, his brother I interviewed The Rock? Last time. You know, this administration sucks. Everybody knows it. That's the way it is. I'm catching a lot of flack from my guys, whether it's Dana White and UFC guys or whoever. Yeah. And he's, gonna, he's just not going to be political. And I get it. And I understand that. He's just going to sell his movies. He's going to sell his football uh, league. He's going to sell his WrestleMania. And he's going to sell his tequila because he's a businessman. Now, Jesse, I it would was never a good come time on your to show be political. The Black Lives like Matter show. movement was huge in 2020. Anybody who strapped their backpack onto that got super public credit score. It was it was like a big deal at the time. Going for Biden was a big deal for public uh, welfare. I think it was, it was big big Trump was very much counterculture at the time. Right here, <laughs> Dean Kane, all American lawman. My brand new graphic novel is coming out right now. It's actually sold out. Oh you my go god! To Comics dot com and get your own. How do you not rock. have a tequila company, Dean? <laughs> I mean, what, what's uh, going I'm on? I'm working on it. Of course. <laughs> Everybody. I'm drinking enough tequila where I should have my own. Oh god! I, everybody, I agree. Dean Kane, thank you so much, um, <laughs> and thanks for calling me a wimp for experiencing my first earthquake ever. I'm going to go back and hide in the corner. You did well. You did well. Fucking Thank you very cowards. much. I'll get there. I'll get there. <laughs> Click here to sub. I can't believe Superman was on Fox News. He's on it all the Su time. Superman's a Republican. Oh, no. All right. Hold on. Dance. 
dance, revolution, dance, dance, revolution. Peter butter jelly with a baseball bat. All right. What is, uh, fuck, holy shit. Um, That's the microphone we were expecting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, what do you want from me? Hold on. No, I haven't, uh. I haven't flipped it over yet. Hold on. Hells only confirms that that comic book artist Look, was working on Isom. It's not. It's like this fucking shit is in the way. Oh shit! Oh shit! No! No! Chip out at the Ben Pies and a Billy the Fridge is raped! Yes! I didn't sign up for that. What? You didn't? I thought I was going to get a chicken sandwich. Oh, well, you will in due time. That does not sound enticing, Ben. Oh, you can. Well, it, it's also it doubles as a bite stick. No, you see, know? this sounds like entrapment. <laughs> it is. It's the hottest kind of entrapment. I'm not gonna put my the lotion on my skin, Ben. It gets the hose again, though. And by hose, welcome to the hose train. <laughs> the hose train. Great content. Yes, Danny yeah. Million too. Exactly. We made it. We made it. Yeah. I got in touch with my ancestors. So, we're going to wrap it up. We had a great night. We will see all of you next time. It it's, you know, it never ends here. So, we'll see you all next Goodbye, time. Everybody. Have a great night everybody. Good night. Good night. In the beginning, there was nothing, and then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Drunken Peasants, Drunken Peasants, Drunken Peasants, Drunken Peasants. From the strangest corners of the internet, gonna get TP'd by Billy and Ben. You know where you can find them at, get ready cause they're gonna kick your... Drunken peasants, drunken peasants, drunken peasants, drunken peasants.